Yo, what's happening, people? You're listening to the Rest Things podcast, the Kenny Omega approved podcast. If you like what you're hearing, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And yeah, you already know this podcast is by the man them, for the man them. Bow! Yo, episode 82 of the Wrestling Podcast. Am I right? Tell me, man, if I'm right. Come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. We've got a good house today. The man said drink champ set up. <laughs> <laughs> one in, one out. You know, you know how it works. So, yeah. Fam, let's take it away. It's the full instruction, aka Nafi, formerly known as the VHS Pappy, formerly now known as. What was the called stuff last week? Um, some new. It's the real Guap Daddy. <laughs> when I say Guap, you say Daddy. Guap Daddy. Guap Daddy. Daddy. Strong star rating, leg drop hating, big back rubbing, because Jericho loving son of a gun is your boy, Del Boy, a.k.a. Soul D. Lee, a.k.a. the Cargo Maniac, a.k.a. Pro Guap Teeth, a.k.a. the Nostalgia Police, a.k.a. Mr. Wrestle and Drip. Mm. Come on. Mm. Man made Mr. The Mr. Wrestle and Drip. Made the cut. A.k.a. God forgive me if I bust Fuck my name. Jeez. All right, fucking hell, it's been a while, isn't it? Yeah. It's your boy Sam Blacks, <laughs> mm-hmm. Mr. Controversial, Underdone, Mr. Hot Takes, Visceral Top 5 Dead, Dead or Alive, Big, Big Men, Mr. 150 million percent. Oh, it's been a fucking minute, but I'm back. I'm on a mad one today. If I say some outrageous stuff, just cut me off. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> Yo, people, it's your boy NK, aka the man of the hour, too sweet, sweet to be sour, sour. aka the who's Japanese correspondent. Wonder, yes. I have to give Max this coat. He gave me that nickname. <laughs> he gave me that nickname. <laughs> After all, he gave me that nickname. But yeah, man, we in the building. Come um, on. At this point, these men are not even guests. These are our brothers Family. on the podcast. You know what I'm saying? Who'd like to introduce themselves first? I'll go. I've, I ain't got, I've got something today. Okay. Yeah. 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 Come, Come on. Ready. Come hey, on. It's my turn. When I say guap, you say that. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. I've been watching wrestling since 1990, but I've been observing since 2001. Mm-hmm. And that's the third time I've been on this show and I've managed to get a Bill Watts reference in two times. So I'm going for three today. So I'm going to try and fit a Bill Watts reference in today again. Like, So I'm back. Thanks for having me again, guys. It's L. Come on, man. Come on. That's a professional there, mate. Who wants to go next? Whoa. Right, let's go, let's go. But I need to do better than my last time. I need to do better than uh, Dave. Big waves, 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 <laughs> waves, 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 waves. Way farther. Buenos dias, what's going on, people? It's your boy, Big Wavy Roy Johnson, formerly known as a South London saviour, formerly Jeez. Mr. Chicken No Gravy, formerly mm. the local miracle, the boy from SE25. Come on, stay alive. I traded my nine to five to a 10 to a six. Love Jumped it. a flight and caught, well, caught a flight. And um, up sticks, that's it. Jeez. Right, I'm going to qualify up six to so be for Extra Jeez. legroom, sir, yes, please. Became <laughs> the unit of San Antonio. What? That's Ibiza's favourite wrestler. What? Wayne Lineker's favourite wrestler. Jeez. 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 Your favourite shop girl's favourite wrestler. Yeah. Roy Benno. Yeah, you might see me on Sunset Strip. And if you do bro me like you know me, you might see me in Old Beach, my ring gear. But if you see me, in a rave, nightclub, or a party, it wasn't me. And <laughs> most importantly, most importantly, if you see me in a villa party Cheers. in San Antonio, hey. wearing it. tinted shades, an NWO Outsiders t-shirt, Jeez. leaning up against the back of the wall, my eyes rolling in the back of my head, <laughs> it definitely, <laughs> definitely, you definitely can, not wasn't me because <laughs> villa parties no s legal yeah. <laughs> and also just i just want to add as well i'm, I'm a three-time wrestler in drip so Jeez. oh yeah. i mean oh. But yeah, come on i mean we made it in it oh yeah you might have actually made it in a drippy team i'm to when i'm older i feel sorry for you it's all right it's all right i can't follow a pro wrestler but you know we'll go What's up, people? My name is Max. I'm a wrestling fan, a wrestling enthusiast, a WrestleManiac. Stop it! Stop it! Calm down! Calm down! Stop it! What's up, people? My name is Max. I'm a wrestling fan, a wrestling enthusiast, a WrestleManiac, if you will. And today, I am back on the Rest Things podcast. Come on. Man, oh, love the promos out here, man. Fucking oh, hell, slip, man. man. It's lit, man. It's lit, man. Where, where do we start, man? Then, what do you want to start with? 
That's Yo, punk, that, bro. I got no hold on. Is that top five visceral shit? Is that real? <laughs> <laughs> no, I said you clean, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's um, just a gimmick, right? It's a gimmick, right? It's a gimmick, man. Oh, it's, cool. a gimmick, man. Oh, it's a gimmick. Oh, it's a gimmick. It's a gimmick. Listen, 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 listen. I've got, I've got, I've got half-hearted nowadays. Yeah. Obviously, this was my guy in it, but obviously. He's not. Ah, oh, it's a mad thing. I can't say too much, man. <laughs> I, I'm half hearted. I can't stand the slander nowadays. I'm shook. I'm shook. <laughs> man said, Kayfabe is dead, fam. That's crazy. Oh, it's now, to be fair, he tried to drop it off his intro, though. We're like, no, you might as well keep him. Nah, man. keep it, bro. It works. But next time, say it's true, look. <laughs> no, he's yeah. cold, isn't it? I think he's. I personally think he's cold, He's supposed it, to be a really nice guy. <laughs> he's supposed yeah, to be a really nice guy. Yeah, yeah. You said he's cold. I think he's stop, man. No, bro. We'll get to the date. We'll get to the date. Don't go there. Don't go there. Anyways, um, I was hearing it was a cold night in Chicago. We had the return of CM Punk. Wait, Mandem, where do we start? Hi. I think that's one of the biggest pops I've heard in wrestling history. Get the fuck out of here, man. No, 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 real, real, real. No, 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 but nothing. Who else is saying, no, this is, this is me that is saying that. Me, me, me. I can't lie, yeah. I've seen too many tweets here of man them disrespecting people like The Rock, Austin, even Vince McMahon out point fam. Listen to what I said, I get the pops, I get the pops. One of the biggest pops. One of the biggest, not the biggest I don't think she's added as one of. But it can be. Cena's return was one of the biggest pops I've heard. Exactly. Seen as your turn okay, was no, insane. Do you want to swap? You know, one sec, one sec. Do you know what it is? Sorry, bro. I attacked you, you for no reason. You know why? Do you know why I attacked you? Yeah, it's because the tweet that the tweet that I saw triggered me in it. And when you said it, I married the two together in it. So I'm sorry, my bro. We love each <laughs> but other. But I will say this. I will say this. That's one of the best returns I've ever seen. Returns. Yeah, fact, yeah, fact, yeah, fact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and do you know what my thing is? Yeah. I told you, NK fam, on the, on the group chat, yeah. For me, I thought that AEW would have done a thing where it's like, man would have come midway through the show. For example, someone's cutting a promo. We all thought this. Yeah. Can they make a kind of promo or Darby Allen kind of promo? Then, 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 then yeah, it comes yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. But man come through here yeah, at the beginning of the show. Like he's a boss. Fam. He had to though. They had and then to. he cried. They, 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 they would have literally hijacked the show yeah, yeah. with yeah. chance if he didn't come out when he 100%, 100%. did. 100%. So, Literally, yeah, very special moment. As the show started, like you, you, you heard it, and it was like when he came in, I was like, "Oh, they are doing this this early." But then when he came out, yeah, man, that that set me that that set me off, man. I was like, "Wow!" I felt that like, energy. How much times have you watched that this week? Oh, I, I, I watched that so yeah. much. I can't time. lie, I still played the Cena comeback, but no, the CM Punk comeback was cold as well. But that <laughs> I Cena haven't seen the Cena comeback. I watched. I watched the comeback. That was nuts. That was nuts. That was nuts. Compared to CM Punk here. Yeah. It was, yeah, Seal Park is like, it's different, bro. Yeah, different. That, different. Do you know what that felt like? It felt like flipping, do you see when Michael Jackson used to come up back in the day and he used to stand in the middle of the stage and just, just stand there? Mix so it And man, Mix it, Mix it, it. Just just like, People, yeah. you know, yeah, I know that the footage yeah, yeah, of like yeah. Michael Jackson having just concerts, and yeah, people, yeah, people yeah, are just there crying there. like they've seen our Lord and Savior, bro. <laughs> like I knew there would be someone in the crowd and I was half, you know, tongue in cheek and mocking it when I put out that tweet. But I was nearly that guy. I felt everything you know, go I, through my I, body I, I, that I, I, day. I, 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 was yeah, I, I felt was it. I, I, sorry, I do you know, big up the guy that was crying, yeah? But the picture they got of him was Pete, because man's doing this. He's <laughs> 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 <It's> like, no! <laughs> <laughs> my guy, my guy! I respect yeah, you. Because yeah. I'm not going to lie, when Jay Cargill debuts in London, that's going to be me. <laughs> Get that meeting drink. Sorry, you know Gareth predicted you'd say that as well. Fam. Oh yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> Shout out Gareth, man. Shout out Gareth. Shout out Gareth. Come on. Yeah. I won't even cap. I haven't even seen our match yet. So, yeah. Oh, the match. I didn't watch it. It was right. Right. After it was right. CM Punk's debut, I just it was put like, it like, it was like 45 seconds. It was like 45 seconds. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. After, after CM Punk debuted, the whole show was like, it was difficult to watch because the energy was so high for that it was, moment. It was a good show. Like, like, it was a good, it was a good wrestling show. Everything that followed was still very good. It was just, it was mo- it was a monumental moment, like yeah. man, even man sitting down got a pop. <laughs> like man sat down, ah, like. Right. That, it, it was that's what I'm saying. The t-shirt. MJ Michael Jackson. <laughs> yeah. Michael Jackson used to take off his glasses. Yeah. People will shit themselves. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> 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 bro, too. Like, MJ was a madman. Definitely. They, they did two hundred grand that night on that t-shirt. Fucking two hundred grand. Two hundred grand. Is that two hundred bags in the arena? They sold two hundred grand. So and the website that night. Oh, the website. 24 hours, oh, they the website. on that t-shirt. Boom. And, 
and they only put it out when he took the, when he when he and went he took out. Took took when they yeah. took they put yeah. the t shirt on sale. So when you see people leaving throughout the Jungle Boy they match, the thing, they yeah. were buying the t shirt. Like, that's insane. Did like, you see his out outsold the Bullet Club t shirts on Pro Seven years That's, years that's years insane. Ago. The Bone Soldier one as well. That's insane. That's not, well, even you know the ones that you know all the ones with the ring, the ring. What's it called? The black line thing. They just started. They just started selling it on white tees now. Yeah, just to still chop the money. Punk Punk is a legend of this era. He is, he is. No, it is, no, it is. is. I, I'll give you this. I'll, I'll give you this. I can't lie. If there's some, if there's going to be someone that's going to give us that strong cold culture shift, yeah, and to like the other stuff, it's going to be punk. Because I was seeing certain man, yeah, talk about wrestling on that when, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Certain man were commenting and doing quote tweet on it, and I've dev man have never watched wrestling before in their life. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I even spoke about wrestling before, but the new CM Punk yeah. back in the day. Even I saw a tweet from Rico Squeeze. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah Rico yeah. Squeeze, so much wrestling. Yeah, I said Rico <laughs> Squeeze. I was, I was Shout out Rico, but Rico Squeeze. That bare man were just like interacting with this post, and I'm like, if there's gonna be one guy that's gonna take, like, you know, where it was with the Stone Cold level, it's gonna be him. But mm, my so thing I, is, have this. you seen his return? My thing is, done. I'm just gone. gone. I'm more than gone already. good, but at the same time, it's I don't diff- think a lot of people are speaking about it as much yeah. as Yeah, no, yeah. Because no, CM no, Punk no, no. with John Cena, John Cena comes and goes. Yeah, yeah, CM yeah. Punk was gone. He was gone. Gone. And then oh. beaten up in yeah, UFC. Yeah. He started he was working gone. for Marvel. Yeah. He went to do yeah. commentary. Yeah, and yeah, and, yeah. and you got to think about it as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you got to think about with CM Punk. CM Punk at a point in time, like, he came up, like, he hated wrestling. Now he came across that way. Like, he he lost his passion for wrestling. Like, he called it fate. Like, he would he wouldn't address anything about pro wrestling, mm. and the fact that he's come back and you can see the passion mm. he came back with, like he could yeah. feel it again. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah, I was, yeah, I, even, I sent an this on TikTok, but I remember um. When, mm. um well, that's what you said on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Yes, let's get things straight, NK. What do we do on TikTok, bro? No, me and I. No, no, no. What do we do on TikTok? Except do we do? wrestling. Thank you. Wrestling. Me, chill. And chill. Are, are those you the only boys. videos you sent to each other on TikTok? Bad boys. Listen, to Kafra. Just ask me. Me and the Nafi wrestling. I want to your TikTok. No. My chat in that's what to the memory. I tried it out. I tried it out and I was like, this ain't for me. Just pre, just pre, just pre, just pre. Just lost the to pre. If you follow NK, I promise you, you will love TikTok. No, no, no. If you follow my man, this guy that's giving me the tissue now. Are you serious? I'm bleeping. 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 i am i am um, he did with Tony Khan. Tony, Tony Khan. Khan's face, yeah, he Tony was Khan, yeah. smiling. He had the biggest boner ever. Like, he was like, <laughs> every time I see him pop with Tony. No homo, no homo. Hey, wait, how'd you know that? Fam, <laughs> did you see He's my face? No, 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 you're taking it too far. No, hey, no, no homo, no, no, no homo. homo. No, wait, no, 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 no homo, no homo. Anything so, that is so said is no homo. No, no homo. time for the next question. <laughs> so we got, we got Guap Daddy from Red Things. No. <laughs> oh, sorry, 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 sorry. sorry. <laughs> what is happening? Hey, 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 I'm joking. Roll, 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 no roll, homo, roll, no roll, homo. Roll, 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 roll. You can't say that, bro. Anyway, CM Punk. CM Punk. Enough is homo today. You don't want to start, I'm telling you. Yeah. Anyway, CM Punk. Shit. The only thing is, yeah, and I don't, I don't want to discredit um, anything he's done or anything AEW are achieving because it's, it's brilliant. But I think if I'm right, they done like what 1.2 million on Rampage. Yeah, they'll probably. Yeah, and yeah, this is my thing, like, where people are calling Austin comparisons and stuff like that, it's like, well, to be honest, that's, like, it's kind of like the pinnacle right now anyway, isn't it? Like, I don't think Brian will probably, you he know, will. get that many viewers in when, he, you think so? Right, yeah. Brian, Brian, Brian is... is, is I've got no doubt, I've got no Brian doubt is, that they're going to get, they're going to beat Raw in the demo in the month of September. I've yeah, got no Brian, doubt about Brian that. Is, Brian is, yeah. <laughs> That's, it's, it's, it's not yeah, like Brian is there. No, Brian in, is in terms there. of Brian the Austin thing, yeah. Like I don't think, like, I don't think wrestling. That's my opinion. I don't think wrestling will ever get back to that point. No, it won't. Of course, impossible. Yeah. I don't think it'll get back to that. I don't think it'll no, ever no, get no, back no, to that point. No, 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 never. Never will. Never will. But if there's gonna be one guy that's gonna be having that same sort of like influence per se, 
than a CM Punk. I d- and I saw it, bro. Man, well, no Austin. That, that bro. attitude error. Man, no, 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 I'm, not, I'm, not saying, I'm not saying in terms of attitude. I'm talking in terms of like popularity and the actual sport itself. So look, um, man, 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 know, man knows about Soak so Cosy Boston, innit? And people know about CM Punk. But the way man was tweeting about CM Punk, bro. But there's other men. Well, people man, want to tweet about Brooklyn Nation, But there's other men that don't really rate CM Punk, though, no matter what no, but, you think. Bro, and the thing he's is, still the guy that lost the UFC. And as known as CM Punk but, is, no, as known as CM Punk is, okay, cool, this is this one moment where people that don't watch wrestling are going to speak about him. Yeah. As weeks go on, nobody's going to remember him. No, 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 they, they will no, drop off. They're going to drop off. And I think it does. You have to be realistic. Let's be real, wrestling is not cool in the landscape. Exactly. And the thing is, I feel like these Austin conversations, like people putting Punk amongst Austin, it does Punk a disservice because it takes away from what he's From who he is. and I'm not a little Yeah, what he's actually doing. Let me clear things up here. All I've said here, if there's gonna be one guy that's gonna have that influence and make people talk about him a lot, it's CM Punk, bro. And you got and the thing about this happened already. Within casual fans or within casual, bro, or I within saw, just wrestling fans. I mean, you know what? We have to put bro. Cena in that no, list as well, man. So, so, I don't think so. I don't so. Even John Cena, because he's bro, when there. John Cena came back, no, he's not there, outside bro. of wrestling fans who were speaking about John Cena. And maybe DC fans. Nobody was really speaking John, about John, John Cena. is a film star now, bro. Yeah, yeah, he's a, yeah, he's a film but, star. You know what I'm saying? But like even that CM Punk, Punk, that Punk. Yes, cool. Mm. He's managed to get a pop from people that don't watch wrestling anymore. That's like, oh, CM Punk's back. He hasn't been wrestling for time. Yeah. After a few weeks, the novelty's yeah, going to wear yeah. off. Nobody's going to care let's about see, it. Let's see it. It's not, see, and the thing about CM Punk is, you've got to remember, CM Punk is that pop because people were still at CM Punk's and people were still watching WWE way more than they watch now. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, 2011, WWE was still pretty popular. Yeah. So people remember, like, CM Punk from, like, a semi a, a semi popular era of WWE, so it makes sense why he's um, getting the reaction he gets because WWE was still popular back then. Mm. Not as up, obviously not attitude levels, but you have you know, to remember a lot, of, a lot of these fans ten years ago were what ten? <laughs> yeah, they might have 10, been pretty young. Nine. Yeah. <laughs> so they've seen CM Punk when he was a little kid. Now they've grown up and they're like, "Fucking oh, he's back!" You know what I mean? So that energy is that is that when The Rock returned in 11 I was thinking, Jesus Christ, like. Wow, The Rock's back. Yeah. And this guy kept on coming on WWE TV, teasing us and yeah. all this nonsense. And then when he's come back, I was like, shit, he's actually back. So for these youngers, they're thinking, shit, CM Punk's actually back. Do you know what I mean? Um, for me, it's just, uh, what more now is he going to bring? What is he going to bring to the table in AEW? It's just going to make me say, wow. <laughs> Hill okay, Blacks, I'll go. sorry. Hill <laughs> Blacks. I'll go. I mean, the answer is self-explanatory, but I don't want to speak about it. Let you know what you can do. Elga, let Elga. Yeah, yeah, so is it. What can Undertaker bring? What the fuck? <laughs> no, don't <laughs> send. What, that, what can Undertaker bring? No, no but don't send, because if Taker comes back, that's another pop, but it's not actually Punk. A pop, but if he now comes in the ring, what's going to happen? Yeah. Could be oh, a goal. Go on, no. Here's the thing, all right? They've managed. <laughs> <laughs> they've managed to get um, a guy, big fucking star. All right, yeah, people have tried, like, he's been out of the game for a while, and if anything, his legend has actually grown in that period. Mm. All right, he's kind of got a lot of mystique around him now. He's shown up, they've done a fucking, they've got the second highest rated episode they've ever done on Friday, and they're going to get another good number tonight as well. Even with a weak card, they're going to yeah. do a yeah, really yeah, good most, number most tonight as well. They're going to do their biggest pay per view ever next week. All right, they're going to, I think that pay per view will be the biggest pay per view this year since March 99 from a non WWE company. Ooh, wow. All right, they'll be. Hogan and Flair in the cage in 1999. I honestly think that. So, as far as... Okay, that number is going to dip because that's what happens. Even when SmackDown first started on Fox, they did for me in the first week. Now look at it now. People always drift off or whatever. The issue... The the thing is we don't know is how much these people are going to drift off, how much people are going to grow. Remember, he wasn't advertised for Friday. He's advertised for today. There are still some people that were online saying, I don't think he's going to show up. It's like, why the fuck wouldn't he show up? They've, you know, but they've got him. Yeah, but they've advertised him this yeah. week. And then you've got Danielson showing up in a couple of weeks. And I get what you're saying. You don't think there's going to be a bump. There is going to be a bump when he shows up. I just don't think he'll reach this number that Punk done. That's it. It will because... It'll bump up. It, it will because... Sure. It will because he's already... Punk's already there. So it's like you got him on top of Punk during the period when the NFL come back. Yeah. So that Raw number is going to dip and AEW is going to grow. They're going to beat Raw in the demo in September at least once. And that is when shit is going to all, <laughs> shit's going to break, like hell's going to break loose in September in the pro wrestling when that happens. You've also got um, Adam Cole and all these. Now, Adam Cole isn't a draw. He's not. But you throw him into the mix, the perception, unfortunately, and this is, a, I believe this is the reason why Vince McMahon didn't want Adam Cole to leave. He didn't want a guy leaving his company to go over there. He didn't want Adam Cole. It's the perception that people are leaving to go to the other side. Yeah. And when Adam Cole jumps and joins the elite, 
bruv, that's just another piece of the puzzle that is going to be, it's just a perfect fit. AEW have got the best wrestling TV show probably since Bill Watts' UWF Bill Watts. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> it was fucking, it was better, you know, it's more consistent than Raw, it's more consistent than Nitro. 100%. Every week, Dynamite is really good fucking TV. Mm. Like, you know, and it's like, eventually that's going to catch up. Here's the thing, good wrestling never draws ratings, but the atmosphere draws ratings, the appeal of these people. When you put on Dynamite, it's like a fucking party. It's like, that Sting match last week, it's like a party. Kenny Omega and the guys, it's a fun show. Everyone looks like they're having fun. It's good wrestling. It's, it's exciting. The commentary is really good. They're not hammering, they're not throwing these uh, these sound bites at you. It's just a good show. Yeah. And like, the wrestlers are not looking at the TV yeah. diagonally. Yeah. Well. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a real pro wrestling show. And yeah. we, you know, I'm not trying to, and I've been going on, but it's like, there is a massive shift going on right now. And it's like, if people can't see it, they're in denial. Yeah. Like, um, that show, unfortunately, fucking sucks. And until and the thing is, what what show though would you say? Raw and SmackDown. I don't right. think so. Not you don't recently. think Raw sucks? Not recently. Raw sucks. Not SmackDown recently. doesn't. Not Sma- Raw. SmackDown. People need to stop saying Raw sucks because Raw's actually been decent. Actually, it's past hey, it's no, it actually has though. It actually has been kind of decent these past couple of weeks. Sure. The RK Bro thing was absolutely insane. I loved Other it. Than that, I thought that's, I was cold. I thought that was I think everyone agrees that, but then. There's three hours. There's exactly. three hours. Yeah. Other than that, three hours. Okay, bro, was like, okay, five minutes. Uh, three hours. I, I don't know, man. Maybe, 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 maybe <laughs> three hours. Maybe I've been enjoying it. I don't know. I've been enjoying SmackDown so and Raw. So you've been watching the whole three hours of Raw? Yeah. Guys. Come on, exactly. Wait, you, do you watch the three hours of Raw? Uh, so exactly. so you watch watching more SmackDown. Where's your opinion come from? from? My opinion, all right, it's all right. Okay, it's, 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 a, a, it's, a, it's a very, it's a very, it's a very poor it's opinion. Biased. It's a very poor opinion. <laughs> it's man's it's man's watching. selectively watching the RK Bro highlights on YouTube. That's me. I said, yeah, Raw is a bit easy. Man said five minutes. This is as funny. good as Undertaker's streak. I love it. <laughs> Hold on, 150 million percent. <laughs> How does anyone feel when they watch that dull wink and shit like that? Do you feel stupid? How did you find it? You're a Raw yeah, fan. Tell me. Okay. Fair enough. I'm not, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not I watch it. Uh, so I, I watch. Say. I watch Raw three hours every week. Right. Right. Admittedly, I'm doing something else. So yeah. it's Just there, but I'm. I'm still attentive. Mm-hmm. Right. The wink thing is just. I've said okay, it's not for us. Whatever in it. Who's it for? Now this is the thing because I've actually spoken to like younger cousins, this and that, that are watching wrestling, and they said they're not into this stuff. My little brother Kids. as well, he said he didn't enjoy that. Kids don't like yeah. that. Kids can't into you know, it. He, felt, he said he felt like an idiot watching watch that. He, how old is your brother? He's how old is Daniel? He's 12. He, oh, feels yeah. like, he feels like a dickhead watching that shit. The biggest period that they ever had with kids watching was during the Attitude Era. You know why? Because mm. it was guys Violent. swearing. Because it was naughty stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Monster trucks and women. And women, yeah. Tips out. That's what it was. They don't, kids don't want to see that shit. And no, kids don't watch WWE anyway. <laughs> it's like you look at the numbers every week, look at the demos. Kids don't watch it. It's 50 plus year old men that are watching it. That are just carryovers from the fucking Attitude Era. And they're just used to watching a shit show. That's all it is. <sighs> they were look at the dynamite numbers no older people watch dynamite it's just it's like it's too much for them it's like, oh shit you know this, is, <laughs> this isn't what i'm used to uh, so uh, mm-hmm. fuck this shit you know yeah. you're gonna see a big change like it's gonna happen i'm not saying that ww all i'm saying is is that aw are catching up and you know what it's fucking ww's own fault it's their yeah, own it's fault they've got all the tools they're all the tools they've got all these money and they present a show that no one fucking likes you're trying to please one guy and your show fucking sucks and you know, I don't know what they can do because that's the show right now. That show is going to be like that for the next foresee- for the foreseeable future. I think for WWE to so be I'm talking AEW, too much. No, no, no. It's a podcast bro. You're you're talk- talk- you're talking- I'm, I'm <laughs> ratting and shit. Sorry, man. Uh, I think for WWE to level up, they just need to go ruthless, man. They just need to say, fuck it's, this. Not, take off they the can't. It's not happening. Look, and, and it was deals, clear as day. Have People have been now, saying right? this to me and I've not been denying it. I've just been like, okay, whatever in it sort of thing, just taking it in. And it was clear as day to me. I watched SmackDown on Friday. I watched Rampage straight after, right? <laughs> and on on SmackDown, they were advertising whenever it was halfway through the show, Logan Paul was going to be on, yeah. you know, moist TV on Monday, yeah, right? And the fact that's, that's the name that is, is mad. Moist, a good thing. <laughs> All right, cool. And then obviously we saw what happened on Rampage, just, just a very good wrestling show, the return of a pro wrestling star. And... That's when it literally slapped me that one company's producing a pro wrestling show and the other one's doing one that's entertainment. So I, when I watched Raw on Monday, my my heart levels were a lot lower because I, it had sunk into me now that I shouldn't be expecting overly like pro wrestling stuff on Raw. You see what I mean? When I've seen I a bit mean. of silly stuff, 
I was just like, I just turned away and do what I, I was think, doing. I think that's mostly because obviously it's just AEW's more independent style in that sense of the independence. That kind it's of not. style. It's but now it's, it's become not. it's becoming more of a showcase now. They they bro, they, they still but doing entertainment, but the entertainment is quality, is good, it's fun and stuff. Yeah, it, 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 like it's it's, it's, it's and, and MJF singing. It's like real. entertainment. No, it's, it's real. Entertainment. It's authentic. No, it's definitely entertainment. It's, it comes across natural. No, I feel it's entertainment. Even when Christian Cage beat Kenny Omega, and I was gobbing. I was gobbed. Like, I thought, amazing match. Christian Cage, I said he's better than Edge right now. Bro, we, and, we, that's, and, that's, and that's when Edge is coming looking at the brood in, in SummerSlam and all that stuff. But it's not good enough. I don't, I don't, I I don't personally but, care about like ratings and stuff. I don't care about... Um, you know all of these kind of metrics stuff because we're just fans and I just want to watch the the thing, but you like the future. Yeah, <laughs> every every week someone on Twitter will put on Twitter how much wrestling happened in the three hour show of Raw and how much wrestling happened on like one um hour two rampage. one hour of Rampage or two hours of Dynamite, and Dynamite is doing more wrestling, actual wrestling in the ring than on Raw. Drum rampage is doing more wrestling in the ring than on SmackDown. Mm. It's it's. Night and day in terms of you know what they're trying to achieve and what so it's just everyone let's go off in their lanes. People saying AEW is going to overtake WWE. They're not even in the same lane. They're not yeah. trying to achieve the same thing really. The only thing they have in common they is they've got wrestlers. Yeah. Like that's it. They have entrance yeah. music. Yeah. 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 What did you think of that? Like, Booker T. <laughs> Booker, T. <laughs> Booker T. Booker T. Saying that you know Punk was you know wrong for you know sliding WWE. So, can I ask a question? What was that word Booker T. Used that was being quoted? He shucks. Or something. Struck out. Struck, Struck out. out. What, what is that? What it's is a that? Baseball term. It, it, it basically means that um, struck out. You know when the baseball. As in one, three, two, three, out. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Struck out by mentioning that, but he didn't even mention them by name. Like I, I know, like I know, mad. Like for example, when guys will go, let's say TNA. I remember like, I'll use Mr. Kennedy for example. When guys will go to TNA, they'll, they'll cut the Skaven promo about WWE. Booker T done it so himself. So did Booker T, I remember yeah. it. I remember <laughs> it as well. They'll cut the Skaven promo about WWE and they'll go on about it. CM Punk didn't even mention it. Only, the only thing that CM Punk said was that I left rest pro wrestling in 2005. I came back to pro wrestling in, two, in 2021. That's it. My thing is, that's, that's a some, very big some, insult, though. That is a no, very big insult. Because Vince called it sports I entertainment. Have, yeah, yeah of course. I, I, I get what you're saying, saying but it's an insult. Yeah, Nick Hunter himself. The thing is, someone has exiled themselves from wrestling for God knows how many years. They've now come back. What do you expect them to talk about that exact day? We're going to talk about their, their seven-year journey of how they've been out, how yeah. they've been feeling, and why they feel ventilated to come back to wrestling in the first place. So, yeah. I, don't, I mean, Booker T... I've, I've said enough about Booker T in the two years of this podcast. I'm still going to talk about it. <laughs> now, Booker T is a jarring... You know what? I... I he needs to get off his knees. Now, 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 <laughs> now, 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 I don't like Booker T. Now, I don't like Booker T. He's, he's certified, he's checked. Because you're just being a bit of a, a suck up, innit? Booker like. Slop fam. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you're, I think uh, you're being a bit of a suck up now, man. It's, it's a bit jarring, mate. Uh, Do you know what I mean? Bro, let's be honest. Booker T's right. I think he's even said Booker T's right. He's right. About what? With what? Let me get there. Let me get there. He's right. CM Punk did say what he did. Punk did come and say what he needs to say. And he needed to do it because he's been away for a long time. But I don't understand the reason why he looked at it in a bad way. Do you know what I mean? Why Booker T looked at it in, in a bad way? Yeah. Because he works for WWE. Yeah, he works for WWE. <laughs> no, but I don't... I and that's like, what he does. You know, yeah, yeah, of WWE course. aside, like, I don't understand the... Re- like, bro, he said some mad stuff in the past about people that even worked in WWE, so... I don't know. Maybe Booker T's just tired, bro. He's just giving his sake just to get people, like, run he's up. Off his knees. He's on the Donald Trump thing, isn't it? So... Yeah, he's, uh, you know, I'm just not a fan of that guy. You know what it is? My problem with Booker T started when he did that program with Triple H in 03. And, you know, they did the whole, you're nappy headed and, you know, dance for me boy and all that shit. And then he did the job for Triple H at WrestleMania. Could you imagine going through all that and then they tell you you're going to do the job and he actually done it? Fuck that. That went so, yeah. so, so, yeah. so, 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 you said like he, he should have, he should have like said rebelled no. or whatever. He should have said no. Talks, Bad News Island wouldn't have done it. The money talks, man. The money talks. I can't lie to you. That's and now, that's what I can say. This I'm isn't, and this isn't, you know, this is a race thing as well. It's like it gets to a point where it's bigger than wrestling. It's like you've gone out there and you've let them do that. That's what I'm and saying. And it's just like nah. I'm just not. I'm just not keen on the guy. I think he's got the worst taste in wrestling. He's not got the worst taste, but he's definitely up there, and he's so transparent. Right, tra- so transparent. Uh, Booker T's a bit of a waste, man. Can't lie. <laughs> a lot of the time, I just waste, see man. him Probably. as someone. Obviously, he's in the media. Where we see him today, there, he's he's waste, talking. <laughs> he's on the the panel before the pay per views. He's got his own podcast. That's great. I, I think it's just a case of him needing to talk because that's what he, he not, his career now, isn't it? Chris, like he, yeah. he yeah he just needs to do stuff to, re- to get us it. talking about him, innit? Mm. So 
it's like one of them things like I know there's a lot of kind of controversial takes, but I take it with a pinch of salt because if you never had a mic, if you weren't in front of people, you know, really would you be saying this? And it does then, you know, enter the conversation of is he then a sellout sort of thing. But um true, true. yeah, it's just a bit he's just doing what he needs to do to to get paid, to get maybe, right. I guess. Yeah, yeah I, guess I, so. I, I don't know, like I guess so. I guess so. I just think um hmm. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Booker T is just, <laughs> just a waste, man. That's what I'm going to say. It's just a waste, man. Just um, did you mind running quickly? I mean, I don't... I'm, I'm going to sit out in it so I don't know how long you might want to talk about it. But SummerSlam, can we not spend more than five yes. minutes on this? Yes. Brock Lesnar! That was cold. That return yeah. was cold. For me, I, I haven't... Bro, more you know than I'm pissed else. off. You no, know, I'm pissed off. I don't want to talk about it. Actually, don't talk about it. Wait, but if you... Hey. What? That, that return wasn't cold. Fam, it, okay, I told, one. I told, I told Mex and Delboy, I was like, yo, you might, I'm going to bed in it. Aye, we oh, suffer yeah, the most. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what? No, I went bed. I went bed. You went bed. You, 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 you bed. Up, up and down, first. sleep on bed sleep. first. Yeah. yeah. And I'm like, but I'm going bed in it. So I've gone bed here, yeah, and I've woken up at like six a.m. and I've looked on message and I'm like, what time is it? <laughs> she was six. I was like, oh, shit. I check my phone here. Yeah. I see Brock Lesnar's back. I said, yes. <laughs> yeah. And, and he actually predicted that. right at the top of the I stream said, that said, Brock Lesnar's gonna come. Lesnar's coming today, and I missed it. Nah, I feel like Judgment Day. You see cold, what you're saying? I'm upset I missed it, it but that, you see that moment, great moment. He still doesn't forgive that pay per view being on Monday. That was, a, no, that, that was I, bad. I, do you know what it is? I was upset because I thought he came against, but I thought he came out like for Bobby Lashley. So, so yeah, let's yeah, talk yeah, about yeah. this because obviously that was yeah, what we thought would be the rumored match well, for SummerSlam. But like at the same time, is 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 why is Brock and Bobby not looking like it's gonna ever happen? That's a series now, isn't it? Maybe because the Goldberg and Bobby like, match was shit. So like, I just feel. Well, it was intentional. I just, shit. I know, yeah. but I just feel. Um, this is gonna sound bad. Here we go. <sighs> you have to bleep it. No, oh, cool. <laughs> I don't really feel Bobby's a great wrestler. You know. Well, what? Oh. I feel like he's very I stiff. I feel like he's very stiff in the ring. I feel like he's very stiff in the ring. I feel like he's very stiff in the ring. Let us because Roy's a wrestler. Wait. Bobby's good. Bobby's good, but I don't I don't feel like um he would have a good match with Lesnar. I don't know why. I don't think so. I don't I don't think so. You don't see what he done to yeah, but I was dead. No, no, but did you not see what he done to Goldberg? Fam? Yeah, but I was dead. Have you not seen what he done to Bro- Man Bro- done the STO, it didn't even look this right. It was Sam, just, it was just dead. Did that have a finish? I know, that but it just didn't yeah, really yeah, look. Yeah, um, they had a finish. Was yeah, he finish? done that. The, the, uh, he done a hurt lock. He done a hurt lock to. No, 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 to, no to he didn't do it. No, that was just. What was the finish? No, he, 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 Goldberg was injured in it. Yeah, they stopped. Yeah, they stopped. Yeah, stopped. They'll do it again. I just. I don't know. Saudi, Saudi, Saudi. Sam, I thought you were going to say this. I was going to say, when it comes to Bobby Lashley, yeah. For me, I rate him. We all rate him. But I don't think the company views him the way we view him. No, we I don't not, think he's the company... A, the yeah, company he's the secondary him. champion. Yeah. So, in terms of like... <laughs> 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 that's what I thought you... Okay, you're still talking. Sit down. <laughs> 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 yeah. I left him hanging. Well, I don't think the company views him um, the way we view him, innit? So in terms of like Brock versus Bobby, like we see it as like, we pe- see that as a pay per view main event. Even that could be a WrestleMania match. Yeah, Come. Yeah. We've been booking this since 2005. But the yeah, way, same, same, but bro. the way WWE view Lashley, um, they they don't think he's that guy. I think they I'm, don't. I think I feel the same. They I'm don't think he's that guy. I, f- I think I feel the same. I don't know. That's because the way they're presenting something him. Something with Bobby's though. just no. But we can't keep on saying the way he's presenting yes, him. So what? Ten years ago they presented him the no, same thing. No, because when way. he it's when not, he came back, he was cutting segments about his sisters. Like let's not do that, fam. Like they pre- they yeah, haven't right. presented when he came back and Brock was for the taking. They had my man talking, crying about his sisters, doing all types of nonsense with Leo Rush. Big up Leo Rush. But they had him doing stuff that. A Brock Lesnar um, caliber opponent shouldn't be doing. be doing. Yeah, yeah. They, if you're going to build a guy to you Brock, you, boy, you yeah. don't build him like that. You don't have him in spiritual bondage with Drew McIntyre for how many months? Weddings with Lama. Nah, it doesn't. Yeah, do you know what I'm saying? So, like, they, they haven't done the best in Maybe presenting Bobby. Maybe my perception Bobby. of how WWE have treated him have made me feel this way. But, um, don't know, man. Bobby just doesn't really do it for me, man. Can't lie to so, you. Right now, you lot kill he's me. WWE champion. He's one of our own. Maybe I've got the goggles on. But, but who else could be WWE I'll champion? Gonna, I'll, ba- I'll back him and we can talk about it when he's not champion and look at how the you know the actual run went you yeah. know in, in real life and that. But like, 
Right now, I, I don't think he's doing a bad job at all. No, MVP, no, 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 no. MVP no, he's not. by no, his not. side. No, like, I'm, I'm not saying that he's not doing a I bad job. I think them lot are doing. I think them lot are killing it. To be completely honest, no, on on role, Bobby MVP Lashley team. and MVP. Yeah, 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 I yeah, think yeah, they're yeah, absolutely yeah, yeah. killing it right no, now. They are. They are. I just feel Bobby's just not really my cup of tea. So what's your cup of tea then? No one is man like V, in it. No, like man like top five. Who's telling me like who? Who's your cup of tea? Who's your cup of tea? Who? I would. Who? Who? I would prefer currently now WWE champion right now. Right now, I wouldn't mind Drew in front of a crowd being WWE champion. No, 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 Sam. I wouldn't mind Drew being champion in front of a crowd. Sam, Sam, Sam was boring. No, no, Sam. No, but he was boring. But now, but now, I feel like I need to see the crowd. Even if he was a crowd now, he's boring. I don't want to see him. Ain't no way, boy. Sam don't change. They're, you only feel that way because of how Drew's being positioned. I'm telling you that they, it's how because of how Drew's being positioned. Drew because Drew's always been that person that they've positioned, they've positioned him with Roman, they positioned him with certain people. So you feel Drew's credible because of just where he is on the card. But if you look at actual crowd reaction and what he's doing in wrestling, no, Bobby's back. Bob, Bobby's been better than him right now, and he deserves to be champion over him. Mm-hmm. Facts. Okay. Well said. I'm not gonna say nothing because I'll get slaughtered. But fair well, enough. Yeah, okay. I mean, I, 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 <laughs> okay. I mean, I mean and Bianca, Bianca Belair yeah. is another thing that we. That, need that to was trying to go. Let's go for that quickly, innit? Yeah. No, but um, okay, okay. Bianca Belair is another one, but it's fine. What? what? And it's not like that. And it's not like that. And it's not like that. You know, you know, you know. No, I rate Belair. I rate Belair, but like, maybe it's your time, innit? Maybe it was your time. No, Maybe it was your time. No, no, is that what I said with Rhea Ripley? No, no, I just no, feel, no, 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 I just wait, feel wait, like Sam, he was just a Sam, bit. No, Sam, I get that. that. I get what you're saying. So time, right? No, but she shouldn't have got squashed. Thank you. But yeah, I, okay, I okay, shouldn't have got squashed. Yeah. But I just feel like Rhea Belair. For me, for me, I'm just gonna be real. It just don't. It, I don't know, man. Okay, cool. I understand I don't that. Know, man. Maybe it should have just been. I would you as in you rate Rhea Ripley more than Belair? No, he said that. He said that. He said that. When they both were champions, I just don't feel they were ready for it. The fact the champion thing could have come a bit earlier. We said that last time. No, like, but later, may, later, 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 maybe, no, but later, sorry, I just at the same time, we would then sit here and complain they don't mix it up. Yeah. They, they, they're they not doing nothing fresh. I just prefer Charlotte Fair. But they don't mix right up. Right. You're right. They don't mix up. I don't know why. They, no, but that's why, what I'm saying. I, if, I if, if, they, if it was Charlotte, 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 or whatever, we would then be saying we need new champions. We need variety. See what I mean? When we're giving variety, now we're complaining that Charlotte Flair's not champion. I don't mind Charlotte Flair's champion. I've never disagreed with that. I've never said that Charlotte Flair's a dead champion. I've always liked Charlotte Flair's So champion. she had the championship for five years, who the man's? <laughs> That's essentially what's happened. <laughs> no, but... You know yeah. what? You know what? It's... It's ashamed of it, sorry. No, it's not, it's not even like that. I just feel... Um, <laughs> you know them ones? It's not even like that. This <laughs> Nikki ASH was bullshit. I didn't even, like... No, but it's good for that, her, that, isn't it? Oh, but why Charlotte, though? What, my, my problem with... Because Charlotte is, like, the most credible woman... In that company right now, and Sasha. No, and Sasha. No, no, who else? No, who else? No, who no. else besides Bianca. NXT? Besides Bianca. 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 It's all right, man. So how do you expect them to create credibility <laughs> if they're not giving these women time, man? It's all right. Are you Shayna? No, no, no. Bill, Bill, Shayna. Yeah, Shayna. Shayna. So, 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 so Bianca's Shayna. not part of that. Oh, come on, Sam. So how do you expect them to build credibility if they're not giving these women Wait, opportunities I'm, to win time? Are, are we not watching the same wrestling, bro? Because I'm going to agree with you. No, I'm watching the same wrestling. What, I, just feel, not I don't watch Raw, so it's not the same wrestling I'm watching. I mean, no, forget Raw. I'm getting Raw. I mean, it doesn't... You know, Bianca, come on. I'm, I'm, Bianca, I'm sitting there quiet. It's just brought onto the main roster. She's won the Rumble. Next minute, you're a champion. I mean, I get... Look, listen. I don't know, man. I don't know. Maybe I just... I feel like the moment was right for her to be a champion. She won the Rumble. What else? Bro, she's going to lose that Rumble. At what point have you made new titles after Sam, a bit longer. Kofi, Sam, obviously not. Who, who should have won the rumble at that particular time? In that, in that then, I can't think on the top of my head right now. I, right so, now, I can't. Sam is so they're not credible. Then I don't understand. Sam is back, <laughs> Mister Controversial. No, I'm not so understanding this take. So your problem is the speed of how quick they won the title. It's not necessarily the speed, even though that's wanted, been the history of the WWE. I think I, I, think I just time. wanted a bigger build up. I just feel like the Bianca thing was just rushed. How? No, How? It was, Royal everything Rumble? was just rushed. You've just come onto the main roster and you've run the Royal Rumble. No, 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 no. She was in. She was in the Royal Rumble the year before. Yeah. She was and in she the May Young Classic. She, she was it. in um, the WrestleMania yeah. Rumble thing that they do. Did you survive series, bro? Survivor Series. Okay, she was on the main. She was on the main roster from like at least November. Something that happened with Sheamus. These are people that were in development. Came up when I'm um, the main roster for that six seven months and end up winning the world title. This is nothing new, bro. Fair this is enough. nothing new. I just I, I yeah. man like Booker Blacks Fair over enough. there. You <laughs> 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 give me my dreads. Give me my dreads. Give me my dreads. Give me my dreads. I just feel like I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. Here's the thing, all right. I just want to say this. Like throughout history, 
the easiest way to make a star is having him have them pop up, win matches, make them look really fucking credible by beating top guys, and then you put them in a title match and you'll fucking draw. Mm. The only place that ever has a guy linger for years and years and years and years and then decides to push him is WWE. Someone said to me that, um, what's it, Biggie Langston was IC champion 10 years ago. And I was like, what? And yeah, he he's was. been wow. there for that wow. long. He was IC champion. Was. And he now was. they give him the briefcase and you're supposed to jump for joy. Could you wow. imagine if like an AEW, let's say an MJF yeah, in 10 years yeah. time yeah. was finally getting his show in 10 years? <laughs> Ten that's years, crazy, like when you think about that, it's the, the only place that does it. They let guys. It's like you've got to earn your spot, and it's just like no. Nah, it, it doesn't work. Even Vince McMahon back in the day, like if you fucking, you'd get guys to come and feud with Hogan on the house. You get Kamala in, guy, right, cool. You beat some guys, you go and feud with Hogan. All right, cool. Uh, Orendorf, Piper, get him in, beat guys, and have mm. food with Hogan. Nowadays, they don't do that. Like you should, we should be happy that maybe, they got Belair in. You know, what, maybe I'm just old school. I'm just old school. We should just, be happy that they wanted to push more. somebody. I mean, fuck, it doesn't look to me like it worked out for them. I mean, if you don't put someone in that position and have them lose that quickly, they would never have done that with uh, Charlotte. They wouldn't have done that's that with Becky. Wrong, they wouldn't have done that the with. Thing. They wouldn't have done that with anybody. So, mm. and for me, there's, I, there's I something feel, there. I feel in the last couple months, they've they're given. Bianca Belair more responsibility like outside of the ring. They're like giving her like the media bits and bobs to be doing as well. Mm. So Don't it was want- just all a bit weird that like, you know, all of a sudden this person you've invested so much in, you gave her a Royal Rumble win, you gave her night one WrestleMania main event, you know. And to be fair, like I feel like she's been done dirty anyway because she got taken off the money in the bank pay-per-view because Bailey got injured last minute. They've done this to her now at SummerSlam. Like, I'm, 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 Sasha's in, Sasha was in town as well. I'm sure they're going to try and fix it. Like they're saying, you know, turn, um, what's her face, Hill, Becky Lynch Hill. <laughs> and then, you know, that's going to be a little chase. But I don't see how the crowd is going to boo Becky. I don't know how that's going to work. For whatever nah. reason, Becky's and old. it's not a that's disrespect, not like yeah, not, she's not. overly over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. so Becky's, Becky's like, I don't know how that's going to run, but they're going to try it, but... You just, yeah, me- just you just mentioned something. Like that. that was the only thing I was interested in about SummerSlam was um I heard throughout the week that Sasha Banks weren't going to wrestle, and yeah. I know she's advertised, and I was just curious to how they were going to get get themselves out of that instead of telling everyone. Yeah. You know, it's another thing that they was, do. I don't understand why they're in town because Kofi was meant to. Be was she in town though? Apparently, she's in Vegas. She's she's Vegas. Apparently, yeah. 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 Okay. I heard she's Kofi restaurant eating steak with Kalisto. <laughs> <laughs> Kofi, Kofi would be there though. Kofi, Kofi the shop. Yeah, but he won't booked. Like, you know. no, but he's meant to shut up with that segment with um. Okay, that's another thing that they understand about SummerSlam. SummerSlam was really su- it was summer scam, fam. Listen, no listen Del Boy said five minutes. We talk so about la- SummerSlam. Like, we're still here. We've got something big to talk about in it. Um, it's been ten minutes. It's very important. Um, <laughs> cool. So basically, there was a segment. There was two segments in SummerSlam which I didn't understand. So the first one was when Shinsuke Nakamura came to perform. He came out, and I thought he was going to be in a match. I was like, wait, is Shinsuke really in a match? And he went. Then the next thing, the next thing that happened as well is yeah, when the um, fight. the water fight <laughs> and flipping cup thing. What's his name? Um, That's true. Entertainment. He's always came out with flipping um, with slicked hair, looking like yeah, uh, Razor, Razor Ramon. 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 So I was like, fam, what is going on in SummerSlam, fam? Like, what are they feeding us, bro? You take those two segments out. You leave Carmella in the women's segment. Becky can come out. We all knew the minute Becky come out, she's gonna win the title. That match have, have a triple threat, threat match. Pin Carmella. Done. Yeah. Yeah, it's, that it's, that's, that's, come. that's that it. Come. Have yeah. a little ten minute match, yeah. you know, to cover up, take out the Shinsuke stuff, the Miz stuff, pin Carmella and done. Yeah. Becky versus Bianca can I continue don't know on if Becky, SmackDown. She might not be, in, she might not be clear properly to do. That's stuff, the thing. Though. Triple threat, yeah. yeah you know, someone always anything. goes and sleeps yeah, outside for a while anything. anyway. So, yeah. no disrespect. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but that's how it usually runs, isn't it? So. Yeah, so yeah. Well, what they sleep outside is jokes though, because especially in tag team matches, you'll be watching the tag team part like, bro, what the fuck are you beating up? Like, why are you <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> That's jokes, man. Uh, big wavy, man. Obviously, I need you to. Do you know what we're calling this? I'm calling this a flipping. It's an Ether fan right now. Come fam. on. <laughs> I need Ether be playing right now, fam. Talk your shit, bro. How are you feeling about Brit Rest right now? Hey, um, okay, so I guess the reason why I'm here, okay. I, I don't just appear randomly. <laughs> <laughs> now, basically, so I'll take you back. So. And this, this story is going to be a bit convoluted, but I'll try I'll try and keep it simple. So about maybe two years ago, a uh, guy called Rob Brazier, I don't know if you know him, he's a photographer um, on British, sorry, British wrestling um, photographer. He tweeted about, um, is there a problem with diversity in, in British wrestling? <coughs> and then, um, it got like a big, it got a big discussion backstage at some show I was at. 
And I was just like, well, yeah, because look at this, look at this show out today. The, the cards all white, like, mm. and people, are, okay, well, who would you take out of this show to 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 put a person of color in? I'm like, I, I named a few people, whatever, like big names, or whatever, in within the country. Um, they're like, okay, what about anyone else? What if they booked like somewhere else? I'm like, well, the thing with wrestling <laughs> is people get to the level they're at by wrestling. So if the shows don't reflect. I like, you know people of color or what have you. They're never gonna get to that level because they're not be booked. So that was one thing. So anyway, I'm sat at my my, my job, um, maybe a few months later, and I'm thinking, is this still ringing off in my head? So I sat, sat and I wrote out a all black card for a show, yeah. which then actually later turned out, out into being the card for everything panned, basically, with like a, one or two yeah. slight, slight changes. Um, and then so. Fast forward now, 2021, wrestling's come back. You see in posters, you know, um, flyers, what sort of thing, like graphics or whatever for shows. I sit and I see one, I'm like, is this all white faces? Mm. And I was like, I sat on it, I thought, I'm not going to say anything. I'm trying to not, I'm, try, I'm, I'm, I'm a positive guy. I don't want to like ruffle rough any feathers or whatever. But then the more, the more I sat on it, the more it annoyed me. Mm. So then when I saw it again, I was like, right, I'm saying something. So I tweeted about it. Um, just to say like, you know, they shouldn't, like it's, it's 2021 why I say all, all like Come on. all like white graphics kind of thing and then like as time got on I noticed there's more and more and more and I had <laughs> I had a tweet in my drafts and um, I shouted to another wrestler he probably won't mind me saying because he's, he's big on um, bigging up this whole thing as well uh, RJ Singh hmm. yeah yeah and um, <laughs> we were talking about it and I said RJ I just need one more one, I just see one more match graphic and it's that's Twitter bingo I can post the the post my tweet because I have four images in it of course. and then he was just like oh well there's six here and he sent it to me <laughs> that's crazy <laughs> it's that's crazy. crazy yeah so so basically I put out a tweet four show, shows on it whatever it all had all white faces on the graphics and um, like fair play to the promotions the promoters they all got in touch with me pretty sharpish we're like you know this is an oversight blah 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 we we, we, we like obviously we, we book people of colour or what have you um, but I was like okay but that's not reflected in your graphics and my point on this is um now this is where it gets a bit convoluted but anyway so back in the day when i first started wrestling my guys came to watch me watch me wrestle and um they're like cool we like, really enjoyed the like, shows because this, this is early on in my career mm-hmm. so they came to support me whatever i said oh so do you enjoy the show you're going to come back to and like you know what i don't think i want to come back you know and i was like why and they're like well this isn't really I look, no offense, but I, this is really for me. Like I love watching WWE, you know, TNA, whatever at the time, Ring of Honor in Japan. But like the crowd doesn't really, really reflect us, kind of thing. Mm-hmm. And you guys might have noticed this, like you know, when you when you, you go to you go to you've been to shows recently and whatever, yeah, okay. You man, you man told me. So that was why I did everything pattern as well because I wanted to bring like people of color into into the British wrestling fan pool sure. because where like British wrestling is growing and growing and growing, there's more shows, more shows. The same people come to the shows. To the point where, if you're a wrestler and you're on a show, you you go out go out do your match and people say, "How's the crowd?" And like, "Oh yeah, yeah, such and such were there," because people they recognise people like you know, oh, and, wow, and like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean, like yeah. you know these these are there like it's just it how it is. Basis, yeah. yeah, yeah. So like I'm trying to my whole thing was trying to get new new faces into wrestling and to trying to reflect a bit more diversity. Mm. And the flip side of this as well, uh, my nephew. He loves wrestling. Loves wrestling. Loves a new day. All that sort of stuff. Um, he's always on at me, like Uncle Roy. Can you take me to see some wrestling? Can you take me to see some wrestling? I'm like, yeah, sure, but I'll take you to a show that I'm not wrestling on, so I can sit there and enjoy the experience with you. Yeah. When I see these posters, I'm thinking I'm not taking him here <laughs> because <laughs> that subconsciously tells him this like, is wrestling. If, if you, yeah, this is wrestling. If you want to do this, maybe it's not for you, kind of thing. Yeah. So. That was, my, that was my whole point. And the reason I had to come on today because <laughs> I put out these a couple of tweets and I was sat in, my, in the car on a journey back from a recent show and I was we were in a wrestler, with a wrestler and he said to me, Roy, so I need to ask you, I need to ask you, what is your aim for, for putting out them tweets and when it, when it's, when calling like promotions, this and that and potentially getting yourself heat and all sorts of stuff. I'm thinking, well, I shouldn't have heat because... Was, was he white? But like he, he, but he didn't, he didn't no, get it. So yeah. he, he, he didn't understand yeah, it. And I explained yeah, it to him, yeah. and it's like, yeah. oh right, that actually, yeah, I get it now. It makes sense. Mm. And when I said that, when, I, when, I, when, I, when he said, that, I was thinking, well, if he thinks that, and he's a wrestler, and he's inside the business, and he doesn't see that this is a problem. Yeah. I need to actually go and speak about it. And I thought, let me come on, come on with you guys because, um, 
like I, f- I feel like your podcast is very like in touch with the whole landscape of wrestling like whether it's like you know WWE, AEW, New Japan, the Indies, what have you because and because you've got like uh, such a grassroots kind of thing you've built yourself up for over the last two years or whatever you've had guys like David Francisco on the show like in the indie wrestlers in, in, in this country you know OJMO, Warren Banks, myself you know um, but I thought this is the right platform to talk about this and I think Rather than me just talk about it, because I've got my views on on, <laughs> on this, and I'll probably talk myself into trouble. But uh, <laughs> um, hey, no, 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 you guys, you guys know it. Talk your shit, man. Talk your shit. Talk your shit, bro. That's what we're here. But this, this is a problem because I'm the only one talking about it, and this is what yeah. frustrates me. Come like, people, people will message me in private and be like, "Yeah, this is not right. It's not right." But then you feel like a lot of wrestlers, you feel like a lot of wrestlers are scared to like miss out on the bag if they say something. I don't know because like. It's like so you 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 won't see like okay me personally, I won't know if such and such a promotion is not booking me now because I've said all this stuff, mm. right? It's is the promoter can decide that in private yeah. and I'll never know. Yeah. So people would rather not say something, and not have that be a thing. Backlash, yeah. Whereas I'm just like you know what, my big age I don't really care if I if if I say this thing these people aren't booking me anyway. Mm. So mm. you know, but You've got like, nothing to lose. I got nothing to lose. Point, but like, yeah. and 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 fair play to all the promotions I spoke to on that back because a couple of them we I'd, I'd spoken to about working for him and whatever. One of them I had worked for in the past. I got a good relationship with the promoter, and in fact, he was quite disgusted with the fact that the the, the graphic went out under his watch because um, he won't mind me naming him, like Billy Wood, um, promoter for uh, Fight Fight Nation Wrestling. Um, if you Google him, he's like he he was very big into urban music. He managed music acts and stuff. He's there's pictures, pictures of him on stage at the Bobos and all this sort of stuff with like, okay. you know, he's 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 in the culture. Yeah. yeah. So the fact that like this oversight happened in his promotion, he was kind of like this is yeah. this is kind of embarrassing. Mm. Um, so I've had these discussions. I thought so. I need to I need a proper platform to, to talk about this and to and not just me process how I think about it, but what you guys think about it because. Mm. You go to shows, do you know what I mean? Like you guys went to RevPro show the other day, um, and I, I imagine one of the things that sold you on going there is to see Michael Oku. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hundred yeah? yeah. percent. So, and, and that's why that's why I want to have the conversation really. Um, so, can I ask you? Yeah, is there like maybe you know? Is there a way that like a card gets built, like in terms of? Um, obviously, you have however long the show's gonna be, mm. but do they try to kind of hit certain things, like maybe? at least one women's match or is there like certain kind of this is where I think there's a problem because at the highest level WWE and that they probably think about these things because mm-hmm. it's, it's a, essentially it's a TV show like you're casting people into roles so you need to have you'll need to have like a certain number of, of maybe black people Hispanic people or whatever in, in certain in certain Actually, roles on the show exactly well, right um, I don't know if people think of that in Brit Rest. they're thinking I, let's, let me just put this card on with the like, you know, the rest that I got available, the budget I got available, what have you, which is fine. It's all good. But then, one of the things you need to consider is who, who's going to come to that show and what that graphic says to them about the show. So, I, I mean, I, I've only promoted one, sh- two, sorry, two shows, mm-hmm. and <laughs> the first show was literally just like, who can we get within our ma- our friendship group? Yeah. That will do do the show for a yeah. decent yeah. decent rate, so, wage. <laughs> so, so, so we're not gonna lose money on the show, basically. Yeah. And and yeah, we had we, we but when we did it, we was like right, we need to have we need to have a tag team match, we need to have a women's match, we need to have, you know, um, maybe a, a tournament for a, a belt in future down the line. So we had made sure we had variety in terms of what we were offering. Mm. We never had a conversation about like like ethnicity and all that sort of thing but I was on the show so yeah, yeah, yeah. you know maybe maybe people weren't thinking about it at the time but yes yeah, I, I mean I, I don't know how it works with other promotions I mean I just think it's something people aren't thinking about hmm. um, I, f- I feel like firstly me um, I'm sure you probably feel the same way you see when we go to like wrestling events and there's always like there's that one black guy that's there fam my voice is like from like it goes from zero to a hundred bro because I'm rooting for him mm. and I feel like that's something that's very important for us like let me see that black person in that ring. Yeah. I'm seeing it. I'm seeing as yo, that guy's representing us. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's it's yeah, a yeah. it's a mad thing, isn't it? Like when you see him, like for example, when the first time we saw um what event did we go to? Was it um was it progress? I saw a black guy in the ring, or was it which one was it? Was it pro? Nah, I should know. I'll tell a lie, bro. Do you know what's mad? The first black person I've ever seen in the ring, yeah, is actually OJMO. Mm. The last two shows we went to, Iron Fist, there was no black people there. Iron Fist, there was no black people. Ref Pro, there was no black people. And the first Ref Pro we went to, there was no black people. Riptide, there was black people. 
Yeah, that's what you went to. That's what, what I'm thinking. It. Are these are these all in London? Yeah, yeah. I no, do but think as well. Riptide do oh. think about these things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Riptide, they hundred percent. I know yeah, they yeah. think about these. So they think about yeah. representation, yeah. representation. Yeah, yeah. ethnic yeah. diversity, um, LGBTQ. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. think they think of all of that. So yeah. No, no offense to obviously Repro. Obviously, I think the day that we went, there was no black people on the card, but. There was no black people on the card. I remember because Japanese, so the Japanese, yeah. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying, what I'm trying to say is that what I'm trying to say is that when there's always that one guy on the card and he's black, fam, I'm ruined from fam. It goes back to my days of talking about Virgil. Hmm. Shout out to Virgil, he messaged me, and fam, very good. <laughs> <laughs> but fam, the first like, like I said, the first I said the first time that's the first time I actually said a story in your thing, fam. The first time I saw Virgil, yeah, and even though he lost against the Mountie, yeah, fam, it was so out. big to me, fam. Like I don't think you understand. Like I looked at this guy like he was the rock. I was like, fam, this guy is sick. Like, he's acrobatic, he's black, he's hench. He's for the people. Do you get what I mean? He's mandem, fam. Do you get what I mean? Yeah, Man, I think people don't realise that kids do that. Fam, yeah. Kids do that. Like, um, yeah. So yeah. when I talk to people about um, representation and stuff, it's like, people, like, they don't get it. But like, you think back to, I don't know how old you guys are, but when I was, I remember very, very, very vividly when I was at school and Aladdin came out and I remember all the Asian kids in my school Dressed up as a ladder, ain't the opportunity they got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> for, 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 for World Book Day. World Book Day. World Book Day. I remember. Yeah, bless him, bless him, bless him. Book Day. Shout out to World Book Day. Shout out to Aladdin. Come on. I remember World Book Day. It rubs off. It definitely it does, does man. Yeah. yeah, 100%. Because you look at that person, you think, oh, I could be that. You just you mm. think that subconsciously. That you're not going to like, like, for me, when I was when I was growing up and I wanted to dress up as a wrestler, I'm not going to dress up, dress up as like. Coco Beware. Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> I, I might have thought about it, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't dress up as like Owen Hart, for example, because because yeah. yeah. it's not yeah, it's not. Yeah. I don't know anything like Owen Hart. So yeah, yeah. yeah. You know that's, I mean? that's like the only guy I remember with thing yeah. My my, my, old, my old brother. The only time that like, we went to like World Book Day, yeah, we could only dress up as we can only dress up as Will Smith. So I remember the mic will go around about like, who are you today? I'm like I'm Will Smith, Men in Black. I just said that. Who else can I dress up as? Who? I can't dress up as a witch or wizard. My mom will kill me. My <laughs> <laughs> mom will kill me. Yeah, That's yeah, it, men yeah. in black. Will Smith. I, you dress up like I, want, I want my church clothes. I want my, I want my church clothes. Oh, suit a tie. Baggy suit a tie. Okay. Well, yeah. I, I remember you lot telling me that you went to SmackDown and there was like, you were like the only black people in the crowd. <sighs> yeah, we were. Where and we were is, I'm just thinking okay. may, maybe right. these promoters are looking at that and seeing, well, they're not here on the biggest show, you know, in London or whatever, a WWE show in London. Well, so maybe we okay, don't need now, to... But WWE, they'll, they'll put the people of colour on posters. Yeah, yeah. that's just true. I, mean, I think yeah, maybe more so that we were the only black people in our section, but I do remember seeing... Yeah, the black people no, I'm not, remember yeah, the yeah. people that we spoke to that, yeah, oh, we're going to SmackDown, we're yeah, going to Raw. Yeah. A lot of people we know black, went, yeah. but we mm. obviously didn't see them. I think, but yeah. every like, independent show we've been to, I think the only show where I probably saw more than like five black people Besides the ref probably went to, Riptide. was Riptide. I didn't go, I was pissed off that Riptide. day. I, I saw think, I think, he's obviously something mad. I'm, oh, oh, it was, it was, it was, I know, it was and that's why I'm scared of When I was, when I was going know? to British wrestling shows, it was bad. Yeah, well. Um, I, I used to go. You know JPR, right? Yeah, yeah. I got JPR. Me and JPR used to go to wrestling shows together. Yeah, and it was just me and him. Only, only, crazy. Only black faces. And it's mad. Even when you said like with every wrestling show, you always see the same faces. Yeah. Every wrestling show I've been to, it's one tall guy that does all the chants. You even follow. He's the mic controller. I swear. I see him at every single show. And it's like sometimes when he's the guy, he's the white brother, the tall guy. He's a plug. He's a plug. I feel like he's been part of every single show. This guy was saying. This guy was saying. Come on, baby. Everybody's chance. It's crazy. But that's the thing, but like, uh, well, like if, if, if if I don't know, I probably do know who this guy is. You, but you like, do, you do. You know this guy. You know this guy. But, but, he's like, gonna come on the podcast. You know I'll come I'll come to the back and, and or someone come up to the back and say, Oh, how's the crowd? And they're like, Oh yeah, such and such. They they probably name that person. Yeah. Yeah. So like, you know, the, the crowd will be up for it because he's there. That's and, true. and that's the thing, like it's such a small pool of like people. And this show is going on all the time all over the country. In, like different shows in different locations, same locations, whatever it is. No, you know what I mean? I think um, I don't even want to be rude to anyone here, but I just feel, you know what it is. You know what it is. When you said tall guy, so first thing I thought. Yeah, I think coming from right, big up you and still yeah. Big up, man. Big up, big up, big up, big up, big up man. I think coming from um, where I've kind of grew up in around certain man, the word wrestling is just a bit. Eh. No, we said it. Do you, do you see where I'm coming cool. from? Yeah, yeah, it's a bit, cool. Especially when I, when I when I talk with man them in my hood, even they're like, "Oh, Sam, you're the wrestling guy." I'm like, "Yeah, I'm proud of it." Do you know what I mean? A lot of people just don't feel 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 the sport. Um, it's it's. But that's not a race. That's not a race thing. People are like that. Is that the matter you say? 
That's, that's, that's what I think. I, I yeah. thought I was saying it. Like, no, 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 no. Okay. I just, I just feel like, especially in the hood, yeah. when I talk to a lot of men, I can't tell a man let's go to a wrestling show. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? It depends, though. Nah, it not depends. really, bro. What? Not really. I, 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 I talk with man them. Like, you know me. I talk with man but them. The day that me and me and Derek went to Iron Fist Wrestling, Eddie was in the studio, and Eddie was go. Eddie was literally on his way home. Mm. And he said, what are you man doing tonight? I was like, we're going to watch wrestling. He goes, let me come. Mm. We bought the ticket right in, right in front of him mm. when he came. So I think it depends on how it's done, in it? Because man don't want to see wrestling. And bro. the thing is, yeah, if you think of it like this, yeah, it's like a ripple effect. Let's say, for example, with Rev Pro, the amount of people that have seen our video and said, wow, you man actually went to a wrestling show, you guys enjoyed it. Cool, next time you guys go, I want to go. Cool. That's we had a picture of six of us and people like, raw, black people at an yeah, event. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, that was mad. In 10 months' time, if we now get 50, 100 people at a wrestling show, that's coming what to I'm just thinking. watch wrestling with I'm us. I'm thinking it's, it's, Bro, it's, and for I, to, it's for them to kind of get their awareness because... Man, that's still independent, independent, wrestle, in the, in the, no, 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 What you need to understand is independent wrestling and in terms of British wrestling is a lot more raw than people think it's WWE. Yeah. Yeah. That type of thing. No, that, that type of entertainment. So when man them from it and say like, oh, what, like Stone Cold and I'm like, shut up, man. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> no, it's true yeah, though. Yeah, like, yeah, that's what, that's what they know. Yeah, if you now start do. seeing guys like Roy, um, Michael. Michael and other man doing madness, flying out the ring, like, interacting close, like, yeah. man will think, you know what? All right, cool, I'm going to be there. Like, yeah. why not? Do you see and where I'm coming from? these promoters need to deep. Yeah, that's what, what you need what's, to understand. What's, because, what's, because, sorry, because... Man, I'm walking York Cool. York Cool's fucking down the road from the hood, bro. Do you know how much man yeah, yeah, will yeah, rock yeah. up to York Cool yeah. on a casual one? They go for boxing. Watch boxing. boxing. They go That's for what I'm saying. To watch yeah. boxing because they're seeing Conor Ben. They're seeing certain black mm-hmm. black people mm-hmm. that that will represent. If they see certain black men, like, they might even be like, you know, who's this Donny here? Like, let's try and see what he's saying. Boom. You're right. I don't. I don't feel like these promotions are doing enough to kind of support that type of you know. I mean, black wrestler. just now when Roy said the um, the poster thing. I, there's a there's a you probably know the name of it there's a wrestling school in in a school in edmonton in a gym like i literally drive past it all the time no it's not, it's not, it's I, not, it's not. I, I, I don't know what it's in it hustle hustle ha, yeah 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 oh, big up hustle, hustle, big yeah, up yeah. He shouted us. yeah yeah that's the one so um and they put on shows and stuff and again like obviously you know when they stick the posters to like telephone boxes and this that and the other i've seen black people in there like wrestling and they're on their shows but they're not on the poster, so if I if that was what I was looking out for, I would never know, and that's yeah. it. I would never go to the show if that was you know if I was inclined to you know find a black wrestler, local black wrestler to follow, or whatever the case is. So yeah, there has to be a level of them advertising these things and including it in their advertising. Like Edmonton's finest, boom boom boom. Whatever Final the case like is, wrong. whatever the gimmick is, yeah, like yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah I think like, it's just, just I think it's just getting that awareness in it. And um, for them to understand that the independent scene is nothing like the WWE. I, that's what I feel. I feel a lot of men still look to that WWE kind of entertainment. Are you about talking about fans or are you talking about the promoters I'm themselves? I'm talking about fans now, sorry. I mean, that's, okay, that's, for, that's for basically... That. I think it's the opposite, you know. I don't think people are looking at the independents yeah, as if like, oh, it's it's not WWE. I thought that looking at them as like, uh, it's not WWE, why am I watching yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's what I mean. That's what I mean. Gonna, that's I'm what I mean. 10, 20, 15 years ago, when I first went to Butlins and I saw wrestling, I said, what the fuck is this shit? <laughs> that was me. <laughs> I saw Mason, this is the first time I saw Mason Ryan before he um, joined WWE. He was called the Smackdown Warrior or something. I remember it vid- vividly. I was thinking, fam, this shit looks fake. I hate this shit. It's yeah. only as I got older yeah. and I actually started to like enjoy wrestling for where I see and started going to shows. I was like, this is actually sick. I actually yeah. prefer this to like most of the time to Smackdown or Raw. And the thing is, yeah. if I had that feeling as someone who watches wrestling, imagine someone who stopped watching wrestling. You, you can't drag, unless they drag them to a show and they actually see it for what it is. Yeah. A lot of people are never going to look That's at it the right say. way because they're going to think, it, it, it if it's not WWE, face. if it's not John Cena or The Rock, why am I going to spend my money to watch it until mm. they actually see it? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's why we need men like Ray. We need Warren Banks. We need yeah. Jermo, mm-hmm. yeah, Mills. We need more. We need these men to be showcased as much as possible because these are literally men like us. Mm. That's what I'm trying they to say. They come on the it. podcast, they speak like us, talk mm. like us, they have the same bandwidth like, like us. You know what I'm saying? So They go at like Beefer like us. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's <laughs> the only point. Have you not been like Beefer? I think you like it. Come, let me take you. Come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beefer's lit, bro. Beefer's lit. I'm telling you. I'll look after you. I'll look after you. Yeah, for real, for real. I'm telling you. Beefer's lit, bro. Even touching up on that, I'll go and carry on. No, I just I just wanted to ask Roy, yeah. I feel from what I see, and maybe it's just the products I'm watching and that. Would you say there's more black wrestlers outside of London getting a chance? I'm um, like being featured and stuff right now and then in London, which you would say is probably where more black people are. Mm. I'd say 
at the moment, yes, because no one's really doing shows in London at the moment mm. because mm. it's like purpose. Is you have I realize that like, whenever I want to watch your shows, like it's always in like press, it's like far away and queer now, isn't it? Yeah, but then like so, so like, yeah. No one's really running shows in, in London at the moment. I don't know why that is at the moment. It's, I'm sure they're warming up to it or whatever. Um, but then you get pe- people... Okay, so let's, take, let's take Man Like Derees, for example. He's everywhere at the moment. Uh, he, he lives in Birmingham, so he's central. He can get up, he can get down, what have you. So he's, he's good. Like he's, well, sorry. I say he's good in terms of he's good booking-wise and stuff, and he's a phenomenal wrestler. Really, really, really good. So like he's getting about, but then if I see these, these, these shows and these cars up in their mirrors, he's usually the only black face on a poster. Mm. Mm. Um, That's crazy. But, but he's getting about. But then London, when London's like fully back and into it, I'd, I'd like to say, <laughs> I'd like to say, yeah, but who knows? Like Purpose, Purpose, they get it. They got it right. right? Mm. You know, they had, they had OJMO um, and Man Like The Reese on their, on their show the other mm. couple of week and, um, I think they've announced they got Warren Banks on the next show. Yeah, Warren Banks has to do Francisco. That's when they said. But like, yeah. they had RJ Singh on the first show as well. Yeah, yeah. so they, they they get it. They're Jordan Saeed. They they got. Mm. You know, David's a smart guy, so you know. Mm. It's a shame, man. Oh, yeah, I was even going to say touching on that. Even with like company, NXT, man. yeah, of course, man. UK ad, um, promotional video that they did. Amazing video. I'm yeah. not going to lie. Amazing Top quality production, bro. Right. It's amazing. Yeah. It's a shame that it doesn't really reflect how NXT UK is because it's not. I love NXT UK, but I mean, as a product. I it was missing it, a lot of. But it was missing a lot of representation. But I feel like. Like, their women's champion is Japanese and she couldn't even get a. I thought that's a lot. I feel like. Do you know, I'll be dead honest with you, man. Like, let me just talk my shit, man. I'm sorry, man. No one, like. Should we dim the lights? No, nah, honestly. <laughs> honestly <laughs> don't, don't get offended, yeah. Don't, don't get offended, yeah. If, you, if you're offended, you're offended, innit? Like, I don't even care. I feel like a lot of these, for example, a lot of these NXT UKs and blah, blah. When you go to, like, when you look at, like, the behind the scenes of, like, their press, like, do you only have, like, a press conference or something like that? You rarely see a black person there, bro. Mm-hmm. Like even even if you even if you look at sorry, when you say press conference, you mean like not press like media, like, okay, media, not, not, not like industry parties and shit. Okay, okay. that like you'll see like do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You won't see black man there. It's a, it's a rare chance. Mm-hmm. Prime example: when we applied to go and flip in wrestling, when WWE got when 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 BT Sport got the WWE deal, yeah, bro, we were spamming these guys DM, bro, <laughs> spamming these guys DM. Am I lying, bro? Yeah. Let us in. Let us in. Let us in. Coach was champion. Let us in. Let us in. Let us in. We got air. They show the behind the scenes of the um, the, the, the industry party. Fam. Oh, there's no fam. one. There's not no. even one black person there, fam. No black. I didn't even see Asian. I didn't see nothing. I was so surprised. I was like, fam, like, like, I feel like when stuff like this happens, for example, I've one, one thing I say people that do, like, they do it right, yeah? Regardless of them doing that BS shit, like, with the whole Black Lives Matter stuff, yeah? For example, like, a, if it's like a football event, or like a like a Nike event, you're seeing hella black kids there. Yeah. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Because they're all influenced, yeah. they're doing bits. But fam, it's not only white journalists that are, like you should be looking at, bro. We should be looking at other people that's doing best sick stuff. Kick out podcast, Mex. Did they um, did they believe there's other black journalists or? But are they that's aware, their job. Like, that's the bro. That's their. You job. know what oh, is? Yeah. They they don't they don't um they don't want it. No, nah, do they don't want that. They don't they, they don't want that type of man them influence. I feel. I know, bro. They know, need. They maybe want we it. might be too hood. No, 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 bro. No, I'm not taking that. Kind of I'm not taking that, bro. Maybe the kind of stereotypical. No, I'm not taking that. But you know what? You know what the I'm thing is. Here, for like instance, no, I'm, I'm, no, a, boxing, we're, we're I'm a football fan. Yeah. yeah. You so turn on Sky Sports now, and they're getting chunks and all kinds of men are there. Even if it's just a little segment, or you know, what is kind of boxing made of? AJ. AJ's from the hood. That kind of story. They've accepted that. Wrestling have not accepted that yet. Yet. Boxing. They've got flipping. Boxing. They've got flipping Dan. I'm like, Dan, 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 but what I'm trying to say, that's what I'm saying. If these men, are, these men need to be careful because the way these are, way these other co- black content creators are moving in London, we're moving smoky, bro. No, we aren't. You know what I mean? They're gonna be missing out on big guns. When, when WWE moves, up, when WWE go, if WWE goes to like Sky Sports or something, and Sky Sports starts working with influencers, yeah, black influencers. Bro, they're gonna be saying, "Oh, they're gonna be like, oh fuck, we missed out the ball." Even Ovi's now, Ovi that's presenting for. That's so much. Wow. Let, yeah. let, me, let me just say this: in terms of like them missing out on like the black content creators, it's because yeah, for so long they've been 
especially in the UK, they've been accustomed to catering to a certain audience. Yes. And they've been cut. They've been accustomed to going out to these shows. Like we said, we all go to the shows, and black people are a vast minority if we're even there in the first place. So they've gotten comfortable with the fact that we we can put out that trailer and ninety percent of the internet is, isn't going to blink an eye. Mm-hmm. They, they, they've and got, that's what fucks. Do you know what I'm saying? That's the right random. Is that not fucked? And, and, and they didn't. Is that not fucked? Is that not fucked? They just don't appreciate it. That's what it is. Is that not fucked? They look. They look past. If I put a picture of Kenny Omega, yeah. Look, this, this, this is something right now. Yeah, this, 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 this is important. This is important. If I put a picture of Kenny Omega, yeah, right before people saw us speak, yeah, and we said, oh shit, Kenny Omega's gonna fight CM Punk. Clicks galore. My number are clicking like there's no tomorrow. I don't care. My number, <laughs> my number, my number respond like there's no tomorrow. Am I lying, bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've but, seen it. But I just feel, We've seen like it. I, said, I just feel, um, this is controversial. I just feel it's just a bit racist, don't you think? What's a bit racist? Well, there's just the rest of it. Uh, anyway, okay. what, the indi- you think industry? Oh, knowledge. I'll step in. Knowledge, because I'll step in. here we go. Here you know what I mean? Knowledge, um, knowledge. I'll step in. I'm not going to try and bore you, all right? But no, 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 He's been listening. He's been soaking it all in for the last 20 minutes. Get everyone's opinion. This is the fact, all right? Professional wrestling has always had a history of being a racist business. Yes, always white men in power. Even to this day, the guy who owns the biggest company is a 78 year old or 76 year old. Yesterday? Birthday yeah. yesterday, yeah, from North Birthday, Carolina yeah. or what? From North Carolina, and you know what? He's made a, a, a real effort over the last couple of years to get more black wrestlers in his company and more black wrestlers on his television because he's finally worked out that if you put blacks on television, it actually draws a black audience. <laughs> right. But oh, yeah, imagine that. But I mean, throughout the years and years, right? It's like you had black guys in top positions that were draws in wrestling. You could, as racist characters. Bobo Brazil was a big star in the 60s and 70s, and even up to the 80s, he was a big draw. However, back in the day when them men were in position, even when they were put in top positions, they were still doing matches where they got tarred and feathered yeah. and shit like that or whatever. Mm. It's like, even at that level, Thunderbolt Patterson was another one. They'd get oh, called nigger on, on, yeah. in, the re- in the arena and they'd get yeah. called words on TV and stuff like Rick Flair called Butch Reed a monkey on um, Mid-South Television or whatever. And Rick Flair was a baby face. Yes. <laughs> and, you know, and it... Crazy. And uh, <laughs> like, and it's like if you go through all the big promotions, all right, how many people have put black people in a, in a position where they actually were given a shot to draw? That's besides Rock, if you want to count Rock, because Rock was only black. Booker T, nine nine nine, and two thousand, and it was a, it was and it was off the back of Hulk Hogan leaving <laughs> no. and creative decisions. No, Mabel, no, 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 no. Actually, I'm going to tell you the story. Batman, Batman. The reason why Booker T got given a world title in two thousand was because. Three people, Sonny Ono, a nigga called Hardbody Harrison, and a dude called Hard Work Bobby Walker. They filed a lawsuit against T- uh, Time Warner, T- CNN, and WCW oh, wow. for racial discrimination. All right, Now, everything in the lawsuit, you can look it up online. Everything was actually factual. They were treated like shit. You know, people were using the N-word backstage. Wrestlers were throwing it around, all sorts of stuff. However, they did say that, you know, we didn't get pushed, and, you know, they were... Prime time Bobby Walker was not a good wrestler. Hardbody Harrison was. Wasn't Sonny Ono a manager for Osmo? Sonny Ono was a re- was a manager. He had the belts. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, he, yeah, al- yeah. you know, he put a load of allegations, which were true. Like they'd have racial slurs on boards for the commentators to read. Unbelievable. Out oh, on t- but it's stuff like that. But Imagine. the reason why Booker T got given that world title was because during that period. That was all going on, and the NC, uh, NAACP were fucking going at WCW because they had no black people on their television that were in prime positions. So during that period, they said, Book, have the belt. Booker T was losing matches. So on, arguably, Booker T could have never won that title. He could have never won that title. Five and, times. you know, he was never put in the energy he has. Yeah. But that's, <laughs> but that's the truth. <laughs> Stupid boy. <laughs> but that's the truth. Stupid but boy. Historically, <laughs> the only. Oh, no, fucking, I, you know, I don't mean to do this, but I'm going to do it again. It's all right. The only guy who ever pushed. Top black black guys as top stars was Cowboy Bill Watts. He yeah. was the only guy. Yeah. He always demanded that black people were on top of the card because he wanted to draw black right. people. He's always going to draw whites with Ric Flair and Ted DiBiase and yeah. Doctor Death Steve Williams, but he needs the black audience. So you get Junkyard Dog, you get George Wells, you get Butch Reed, you get Ron Simmons towards the end as well. Mm. They will draw for you. Bill Watts was the guy that put the WCW title on Ron Simmons in '92. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it didn't work out for Ron Simmons, but you know it. He 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 wanted a black star when he came in WWF in '95. Ahmed Johnson, he's big, he's muscular, he's shit. Doesn't matter. They can get guys to work with him, whatever. And after all these years, people have only realized Bill Watts' philosophy that if you put a black guy on top, you're going to draw black people. How many? When I was a kid, black people weren't on WWE. Tele- we had Coco Weir, Coco Beware, and Virgil. That's true. And no. those guys were jokes. Mr. Mr. Hughes. 
Missy like Hughes, Missy Hughes, Hughes years uh, later. Um, in WCW, at Port Chop Cash, and you had a uh, Bad News Brown. <laughs> there was a big six foot eight guy called El Negro that used to do jobs Jesus. on TV. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> he was a he was a police officer. I don't remember his real name. Oh, it's gonna bother me. Wow. It's gonna bother me. They had a, no no in WA uh, WCW. They had a he was six foot eight and he was a police officer. He was a shoot police officer in real life. And I'm writing this they used to. You can look him up. You can look him up. He's El Negro. Knowledge. And they knowledge. Put, it's really going <laughs> to irritate me because I feel like I should know the name, well, but it's been years since I thought of that. Knowledge. But he had a mask. Knowledge. stuff in there already, mate. He had, he, had, <laughs> he, had, he had a mask and they'd make six foot eight. Unbelievable. Muscular. And they'd go out there and make him do jobs on TV. El I Negro. El Negro. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. You might have to be the thumbnail. <laughs> That's what I know. Definitely. What promotion you say it was? NWA, NWA Jim, Cro- Jim uh, Crockett Promotions in the uh, late eighties to early nineties. WCW. Okay. But yeah, like I said, early nineties. That 80s. was like yesterday, bro. Really and truly, like, like that thing that Booker T and Ric Flair and Triple H did in two thousand. They mm-hmm. did that in ninety two with. No, that's not him. That's not him. Yeah. That's not him. That's even, um, they did the same him. thing with Bushman. <laughs> it's can't get found on YouTube, my people. Yeah, it's it's there. You can. It's on the network. It was on the network years ago, anyway. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I mean. Harley Race and you know Vader called Ron Simmons a, a monkey and boy on television. Nineteen ninety two. This is nineteen ninety two. This is like nice. Michael Jackson was a fucking huge star. Superstar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know R2. Michael Jordan was a big deal, and they still had that going on in, in Atlanta on TV or whatever. Yeah, and it's yeah. like, you know, sorry to drag this on, but like, course, come on, bro. But you know, my point was historically, no. It's, it's uh, been it's I, been horrible, but it's, it's, it's been, been always been bad. Always been bad. You can make the amount of black guys that have retired and they've gone back and they said, you know, I should have got more. Of it. You can think of guys that were talentless. Uh, Tony Atlas. Tony, mm-hmm. Tony, Tony, Tony. I got a good story. Tony Atlas. Tony Atlas. Vern Gagne never booked black wrestlers as full time. He'd get them in his attraction, so he'd get JYD. He'd get whoever just to do one offs on big. Sh- he had Tony Atlas come in, and Tony Atlas, you know, in the pit, he was. Huge, he was Mr. Olympia. He came yeah. out, he looked like mm. a fucking million dollars. Came out, got over huge in Minnesota in that one night. Huge. And Bobby Heenan says, and I believe Bobby Heenan, he says that he was standing next to Vine Ganya and he said, Look, look at the reaction. And Ganya stood there and he says, Nah, you can never go over. Even at that point, when Atlas was out there and the people, the people found babies in the air, and like he was out there, and even at that point, he was like, Nah, he will never get over here. Even though it was in his face, so that was the mentality back then. Mm, mm. You know, it's, but, it's been instilled from young, from time. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just undermining, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, now, like I said, now WWE are getting better. You know, and that's really good. Yeah, of course. You know, but, but they're getting better. But I feel that they should allow the comedy act. I don't think the new, when I see the new day, I, I was never comfortable I'm watching the new day on television doing that. No, but that's, that's a bit uncomfortable. Though, our the new truth, day thing, our like. truth needs to bounce a bit. Our truth needs to bounce a bit. Like you know, if he's gonna retire, retire, but. Have one serious pose like where you're just doing because he's actually a sick wrestler. Even when they had the but apparently shit. Vince likes him though, anyway. They go, Vince likes him, but Vince likes him as a clown. Yeah, not serious, our truth. Uh-huh yeah. Nation, when he was this guy's in that, uh, uh-huh. Polo, Polo. Yeah. with yeah, a fucking Polo spear. Cruise. I saw him, on t- he's, got, I was like, he's got a fucking spear. It's just yeah. like, <laughs> did, he, did he lose his title on Sunday? Yeah, uh, he, he, he lost, lost it before the SmackDown the week before. Yeah, SmackDown, yeah, on week before. Yeah, oh my days, against who? Shinsuke. Nakamura. Yeah. But they haven't really been using Shinsuke him too tough. On, on he, he did. He, did. he, he did. came he up did. with a title. He came up with a title. Yeah. Oh, sweet. <laughs> he said he came with a title. The Nigerian nail! <laughs> so I just have to go back to that. Do you know what I mean? It's just a bit... You know what I mean? Like, it's done. Like, even... Do you know what? One thing I... Actually, no, they NXT do it. But... Like... Ilya Dragunov, he, he represents Russia, but he's not really... He's white, white. He's white. Like for no, me, that, like the way I see it, it's not that shit. He's white. I get where Nafi is saying though. No, of course he. Communism. They're still minorities. Yeah, but they're still minority. But, they're still minority, but still, at the same that's time, that's you're, you're still a majority. You're yeah, still yeah, white. Yeah, like yeah. that's like, oh, no, I'm not white. I'm Italian. I'm gonna go. You're white. You're white. I feel yeah. Like like I said, I think the industry is still very racist. Unfortunately, of course. And you know what? While people like Vince and Bruce Pritchard and all these guys, you know, I don't listen to Bruce Pritchard's podcast, but people send me little bits every so often, and he's said some really fucking crazy thing. crazy shit yeah. about niggas on that show yeah, or whatever yeah, no. and you know while those guys are in power you know mm-hmm. you know they can do stuff for PR I mean fuck Trump how much money did Vince give to uh, Trump over the last four or five yeah. years how much money was it really you know it was six million the first time and it Jesus. was it eight million the, the, the last time last year so you know what is his mentality really at the end of the day he's an old guy from North Carolina you know 
but in, in terms of like the UK stuff, like I do feel like these just promoters have a responsibility to know oh, the env- the environments that they're oh, wrestling in. Yeah. Of course. Because you're wrestling in London, you're putting a show in London, one of the most it's culturally asking, diverse exactly. cities it, it in the sense. world. Yeah, but sense. then the card is literally full of white people. Mm. And and the funny part is that you'll go on Twitter and then you have people that aren't <laughs> black commenting on this issue saying it doesn't why should the wrestlers um, yeah, well, 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 yeah, like, yeah, like, like yeah. why why, why yeah. should the wrestlers call them out because you've you've been represented your entire life yeah. mm. and we have wrestlers out there that should be main event in cards that have match of the nights every single night they go out and yet they they they're making the odd appearance here and there and it's like we said before um, when you put black wrestlers on these platforms, black people naturally follow suit. Yeah. So it's a systemic issue with the promoters themselves. And, and with the fans as well. Yeah. 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 And fans just, have a big, big issue. Yeah. yeah. And and like we need like that's why like I'm happy that we went to the ref the ref pro video um got so much traction. I'm happy that people saw I'm happy that Michael saw us in the crowd. Do you know what oh, I'm yeah, saying? I'm 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 happy because like change needs to happen and there's bare wrestlers out there like if you if you were to just go off these cards you think black wrestlers don't exist yeah <laughs> if you just look at half of these yeah, cards you think none of us are here yeah you know what I'm saying, they'll right? give you all the lip service and tell you how good you are how athletic you are this that and the other every time we see black wrestlers even if it's on like bigger promotions they're delivering yeah. like yeah when you're getting the fans even at you know you know just brit wrestling like indie level going in like black fans they're the livest in the building. Of course. Yeah. Do you do you not want that on a consistent basis or what? Like, I just feel like nothing has been done wrong for you to kind of not want to take this gamble or take this there experiment be, if that's what you see it as. Is you what I mean? Stigma, like, man. There must be a stigma. Of course, there is a stigma. But I just want to add to what something some Sam was saying earlier about man them not liking wrestling. Yeah, I understand from your point that people from the might, 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 might not might not want to go, but the ones who do go, they're properly into wrestling. Yeah, you're they're right. like yeah, they're definitely proper, right. fu- yeah. proper, fully into wrestling. Like, so why can't shows get them people there? It's you true, I mean? and, and, I think, well. and I think it can happen. And even deeper, right. our group chat, like our group chat's probably like thirty people. Yeah, I know at least seventy percent of the guys in that group chat have never been to a wrestling show. No. Really, no. they've never been to a wrestling show. Whether it's I think, I think, down, I think it's been an indie show. I think maybe but us coming together and talking about it and us showing that oh, there's an interest. Oh, they, we've got these shows coming up. People are now like, you know what? Because I'm around men like me, and I'm also going to see men like yeah, me, yeah. Why would I not go? Yeah, yeah. It's important. Bro, it's important. Yeah. Yeah. Like Rev Pro was my first event, and like obviously I bought the ticket bo- ticket before OJMO was announced on the card. But OJMO was my draw for that for that event. That he was my draw. Yeah. I'm, and then, and next time I see a Rev Pro event, I'm going to of course they've got big names, but. I'm going to look, and if OJMO's in the card, I have enough reason to go. That's mm. mm. what I'm saying. Uh, uh, no, no, I said I said have another. <laughs> if, 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 if Okada's on the show, if Okada's on the show, NK's buying the whole room. Hey, leave, leave NK alone. If Okada's on the show, he's working. He's a journalist. <laughs> <laughs> so how does it so 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 how does it feel to wrestle in the Tokyo though? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I think yeah, back to what I think yeah, what, what we're saying, I think man them just um man them just need more awareness in it, like they said. Once they once they, once you have someone that you can look up to, not look up to, but you can look and you can say, Yeah, that's, that's us, me in it. That's, that's me in it. And us man just need to not be ashamed, you know what I'm saying? Like we watch yeah, wrestling, no, we no, like wrestling. Yeah. You know I'm, I'm not gonna lie, when this first when this podcast first started, I didn't tell people I do wrestling. I said, Oh, um mixed, mixed martial arts, yeah, combat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I used to call, I do combat wrestling. No, I've like, always, bro, I'm doing wrestling. I've, I've always Well, you still watch wrestling? Yeah, I still watch wrestling. Yeah, I've always loved wrestling. Look at the subscribers, look at the views. Jade Cargill knows this podcast. I'm speaking to existence. When when I when we first started this podcast, I remember yeah, I pitched it to my company, my the company that used to come to me. I was at um, so I was like, oh, we need a new channel to promote a new sport. So talks of cricket came up. No one watches cricket. Talks of um, the, 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 my thing about it, they actually been this idea anyway. Talks of flipping rugby came up. So I was like, why don't we do a wrestling show? They're like, no, no one watches wrestling. <laughs> That's I said, bro, where people watch wrestling, fam? So I was like, and I was like, you can have a podcast, you can have this, even in the podcast, I can even feature in it. I was like, no, I won't do it. So they end up doing another show, which is about trainers and stuff. You know like, what? It's it's the kayfabe that now people think that it's fake, but it's not fake. But that's existence. There's, there's, but that's, but no, 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 no. But it's still there, though. Because even when I spoke to my uh, uh, assistant, Shatterat, obviously, like, I spoke to her. Come and we're talking about wrestling. Come on, Jim. We're talking about wrestling. We're talking about wrestling. And she's like, and she was, because obviously, um, I was... <laughs> 
I'm exposing hey! my life. I'm exposing my life. I'm exposing Sorry. my life. But fuck it, I want to say it. What, 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 I, I was talking to one thing. I'm, I said, what? If, you, if, if I take her out on a date and go to a wrestling show, what would you say? She was like, yeah. But even when I spoke to her about my sister, she's like, I won't go because it's fake. Do you see where I'm coming from? Okay, it's different. it's different. that awareness. Say, 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 I've betting myself out fucking hell. Say, say, but say, it's, say, it's, say, do you see where I'm coming say, from? Second I hate you, but still cheddar. Huh? Second I hate you, but still cheddar. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm trying to say. That's what I'm trying to say. I hate you, but still cheddar. We should do as a show idea. Chop you on the chest. Yeah, we should do as a show idea. Bring. Next time, next time. He's wrestling fake. Okay, then. All right, I beg you, bottom me in Upton Park, please. Someone say wrestling fake. That's that's what I'm trying to tell you. Like I get this all the time. People want to try and like drunk people like, oh, you wrestle? Let me I'll fight you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to fight. You don't want to fight, man. You don't want to fight, man. Like, <laughs> they still do that. People well, do this that? happened to me like a couple of weeks really? ago in Ibiza. I was chatting to someone and he was drunk and he was like, "So you wrestle, yeah?" I was like, "Yeah." And he's like, "Yeah, I reckon I can fight you." And I was like, <laughs> "Because they think it's." Yeah, so they do you see what I'm coming from in their heads? And I was like, and then and he and he said something and I was and then he was eyeing up. He's like, "Oh no, maybe, maybe he could suplex me. So maybe I won't." Right, and then he, and then he, <laughs> then he left. But you see, if it's a UFC fighter like fucking MVP, not MVP, sorry. Michael Van Ma- yeah, 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 Michael Van Impey, MVP. Meant, but, yeah. Wait, no one's going to stick on man. What? Can't, like, Bro, at fight, the end of the day, fight, like... You, what? Yeah. You see where I'm coming from? It's, it's if that... You, if New Jack, if New, would you go to New Jack and say, oh, I No, no, no. Someone, <laughs> someone <laughs> stupid, <laughs> someone stupid will say that. Bro, I feel like Leon Ruff will probably bang up a few men as well. Of course. Of course. Yeah, real talk. Back in the day, right? People used to fucking try and challenge wrestlers all the time. This was back in the day when people... Wrestlers had to beat up fans. Just... Bro, people will go up to fucking Dr. Death, Steve Williams, fucking... Oh, 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 Godfather, these man, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They'd Serious try brothers, and fight yeah. these guys and then they'd get killed or whatever. Yeah. And they had to do it in front of people just because you just, you know, I've got yeah. to show it to but you. But them guys back in the day, they learned, they learned amateur shoot wrestling. Yeah. A lot of them, And yeah. they learned professional wrestling by wrestling on yeah. like shows and yeah. stuff. Because it wasn't like, back then they weren't wrestling schools. I shot some, some guy <laughs> on the show the other day, like he was... He was wrestling back in the seventies or whatever, and he, he was. I, was, I said to myself, well, "What was it like when you got in?" And he said, "Well, I went to an amateur wrestling club and they beat the shit out of me." Yeah, that's yeah. yeah. And they kept well, doing that. Like like so you yeah. so you wouldn't come back, and if because you came back, yeah, yeah but they had to handle themselves back yeah. then because yeah. people would try it. So. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Untakers are the same thing, isn't it? Easy to get banged as well. When Shawn Michaels got beat up, remember Shawn Michaels got yeah. beat up by the Marines? You know, um, when that happened, he was beaten up, and uh, X Park was there, and uh, David Boy Smith was there, and they were so fucking off their face that they didn't help him. Yeah, and um. And those Marines, beat, the WWE said it was 10, but it was really like yeah, six. Yeah. And when, yeah, when he got beat up, Cowboy Bill Watts was working there. He wanted to fire him. He says, we can't, because that's what Bill Watts used to do, fire guys if they got beaten up. And he was like, we need to fire this guy. It was Vince that put his, that's why Bill Watts left in 95, because he wanted Sean out the door, because he got beat up. And it was in the paper that he got beaten up. And he, yeah, in, yeah, in yeah. his mind, it's like, people know this ain't yeah, real. Yeah, 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 this ain't real, whatever. No, no is this. <laughs> but, but that's what I'm trying to say. A lot of people think, old man, bro. they think oh, it's <laughs> fake or like, the wrestlers don't know how to be physically imposing, but bruv, a wrestler will knock your block off, mate. I'll tell a you that for would, sure. Yeah. Do you know what <laughs> I mean? With ease. So please don't chat shit. Especially nowadays, them, some dudes train MMA main stuff like that. You know, it's that's what I'm coming from. Yeah. Very, very if you, skilled. If you, if you can step up to flipping Alistair Black. I was yeah, just you, about you to say that. that. I, was I was just about to say that. Black. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I mean? Black, Black Matthew. Do you before we go, yeah? You see when you have a beef here and a man draws for a kick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's you know he's it. skilled. Yeah, yeah, if a man goes to kick you in a fight, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know he's skilled. You know yeah. Shout out my yeah. boy Ace, man. Portsmouth, I've, I've seen a madness. So he's done a madness. Like <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah. I've seen, yeah, I've seen man them do crazy fly kicks. Oh, yeah, boy, oh, man, for sure. But Ray, bro, just keep talking, man. Yeah. Just keep hundreds, hundreds, hundred percent. Because that's even brought a lot of awareness, honestly, man. Trust me. The thing is, the stuff that we talk about, but then it's like we just need more. More of us, whether it's black, Asian, whatever, everybody just needs to be able to speak up and just say, listen, oh, right. Trust me, we're well, not being represented. We Why is this, in 2021, mm. we still need to be represented. So I would say, I, I can see it getting better. Yeah. Like, there's guys on the oh, scene, yeah. like, you know, a man like Doris, Warren Banks, OJMO, etc., who, they're probably, they're going to be around longer than me, because I'm older than them, or whatever. Um, and, you know, they'll carry British wrestling to... You know, nice. wait, the next the next wave, and hopefully that brings black people. Yeah. Uh, mm. You know, you know that's 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 all I hope for, really. Like, um, I want to be able to take my my nephew to watch a wrestling show and see a couple wrestlers, and and then he'll be like, oh yeah, I could do that when I'm older. For sure. You know, yeah. I just want to also add as well. Footnote, footnote. Yeah. This. <laughs> I've never experienced any racism in wrestling. Yeah. Yeah. This is just something that I see that is, I think, is a massive oversight. Yeah. But this Perhaps. is why I always bring up. I'll never no, ever. I'll never ever um, accuse someone of something like that unless it happened. So I just want to add that. 
Well, this has been one of I'll say this all the time, it's one of our favourite episodes. <laughs> <laughs> I've been Del Boy. Thank you. Oh, I've been okay. Anafi. Your boy Sam Blacks, I'm back. Mex, WrestleManiac UK. Big Wavy Roy Johnson, thanks for having me in. And I'm Earl. It's the Rest Things Podcast by the Mandem for the Mandem. Bow, wow, pussies. Cheers, guys. Come on. Hey, Kagi, I love you. You just got to the end of the podcast, and if you've enjoyed what you've listened to, you enjoyed what you watched, you enjoyed the vibes, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next episode. Bow. Wow.